Alright, so, what's good everyone? Welcome to Guildhouse Mayhem, here at Guildhouse in San Jose, California. Um, yeah, we just got here in the middle of this match, but, you know, um, want to introduce ourselves? I'm Sun Chips. I'm Mr. Taxi. Yup, and right now we're in the middle of, uh, Treewiz and Mario. This is and it looks like Treewiz is up. This is, I don't know, that's not top 8 yet, so I think it's very cool. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, my God, he a punch. Yo, yo, crazy son. Good showing. Good showing by Mario. Yep, solid, solid work from uh, from Tree Wiz. As per usual. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, man. Cool, cool, cool tournament going out today. Yes. What's good? All right. Yeah. So. Oh, we in the wrong oh, it's, seats. Yeah, it's, it's a little switch, it's right, but it's fine. It's all right. <laughs> but like I said, uh, I'm Sun Chips. I'm Mr. Taxi. And yeah, welcome to Guildhouse Mayhem. I think this is the first one for Guildhouse, at least, and at least really? on a Saturday. Very and nice. pretty, pretty sick, pretty sick. Good uh, little show out we have here too. Definitely, Everyone's definitely. I got here, well. <laughs> I got here a little bit, <laughs> a little bit late, and went on too. But just it's... got here too. Didn't even enter. Just wanted to come hang out and vibe, vibe, That's what it vibe is. with the homies. That's yes, what it is. yes, exactly. But it's actually we got a, we got good amount of people to, uh, showing up today. So. Yeah. Shout out to everyone. You know, Saturday afternoon, really yeah. hot outside. Yeah, I want to come rise. through. Oh, okay. So we got Mongi Senior and mm -hmm. El Cabano Loco. Uh, El Cabano Loco, I switched. Previously was Jerry, but switched to M. Bison. Oh, I, is it going to be Bison Mirror? It's got to be Bison. It might be a Bison Mirror. I don't know what Kelvin might want. He could go Bison. He could go Geef. Yep. But, um, that Bison was looking pretty clean, though. But Kelvin. Kelvin's been... He's been... He has been on a tear lately. Yes. Yeah. He, every tournament around this area, Guild House, Matt House, Youth Net. Every house, your yeah. house, my house. Uh, he, he, he's, he comes in and he's he in just, your house. And he wins. <laughs> and, you know, El Kamal Loco, SF4 uh, legend. Oh, there we go. He, uh, he's um, very, also a very solid player. I've never beat him in a local. Uh, well, here we go. We'll see how he does against Mr. Mongi Senior. Mr. Mongi, yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, no, it's, it's so tough watching Bison, man. It's so hard. I play Akuma. I'm dead after two hits. That's oh yeah, unusual. that's like every character. Bison does a, he, 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 he does a he does a, a good amount of damage. And Kelvin's so good at setting like the frame traps and everything. He's just waiting for you to press that button. Get that counter hit every time. Yeah, he put his very. Uh, he's very like I think he's. If there was a, he, if uh, whip pun if he, he uh, if whip punching had like was a was a person, this guy right here, <laughs> exactly. Coming, yes, but oh, man, he's like setting up a bunch of landmines while you playing. It's crazy. Oh yeah, definitely. That's just how it is. Oh, no, it looks like we got Jerry though. Oh Jerry. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Actually, is it? I actually don't know the matchup with Jerry. I, see. I would say. Oh wait. Mongi's on tree. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Is that is that is that right? I you looking down there? Oh. Uh, Alright, let's see. Alright, so hold it. Yeah. Oh, scissor kicks in the corner. Oh, they're counting. Yeah, but I think um I think it might be it might be switched, oh, actually. Okay. I'm looking at the players right now. Punish counter there. Yep. 
Oh, oh yeah, no, that's definitely Kelvin. <laughs> there he is, dude. <laughs> this is so scary just being in the corner with Ma. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's tough. Bro. How plus are you if you're blocking that? If he's blocking that bomb? Um, I think yeah, they are. I, I know a lot of Bison players. Like, what they like to do is when they got the bomb on, they'll do the yeah, like, cycle crusher, and then that's that's safe. Oh, dude, center kicks. I don't know. Yeah, it's so I don't know what you do about that. You just gotta hold it. Man. Yeah. Just gotta wait. Be patient. Oh, oh nice block back. The low. Back in the corner again. Pop the bomb right here. Expecting to jump in probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good low. Here we go. Alright, looks like he's got offense, but that air to air from Wongi Sr. Alright. Alright, let's see. Right, we're playing a little neutral. Yep. Fireball go game going on, low forward. Trying to find their in right now. Yep. Here it is. Looks like him in the oh, oh good. Isn't that shit? Can you level three? Up. Yep. That might not kill, but yeah. I think I think with the health that he has. And you know, you're out of drive gauge too. Basically. Yeah, you yeah. would take. I would take. You would take the risk. Oh, oh good tag. Very good tag. Yeah. Oh, no punish. Oh, oh, burn out though. Oh, but they're both at burn out. Uh, and Mongi Senior takes game number one. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see a? Uh, are we gonna see a mirror matchup? Maybe. Well, my character oh, select. Oh no! Straight into it. Let's let go. it. Let it run. Let it run. Oh, the X Cycle Crush here. Oh my god. Yup, and to throw. That's a that's a crazy crazy trap right there. Ugh. Oh, get the bomb. Damn that that I don't know I t I don't know the timing of when that bomb is like yeah, it's, it's 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 a lot it takes a lot longer than you think it's gonna be. Yeah. Like oh what oh, punish with the fierce! Ooh, ooh. Alright, come on. Oh jump in, back out. And that's safe. Yup. Yup, EXDV, get out, get, get off, off me. Fireball. Good jump in. Good try block. to keep him at bay, try to get his in, but Mongi's always ready with his button. Oh yeah. There again, it is! Again, right there. again, my god. And he's on that point. It's like it's like he knows it's like he telegraphs like, oh, like press his foot, push his foot. Right here, right there. Wrong button, yeah. Oh, let's see. Okay, now it looks like I think uh, Kubal Marcos. What he needs to do is just I mean, he definitely needs to like establish his offense. Yeah. He's not he's just, he's just, just stuck in the corner. Yeah, yeah. he's being on the really reactionary side, it. right? You gotta press it here, man. Get up in his face. Okay, let's see. We got, oh, okay. It looks like he's trying to go for a whip punish there. Yeah. All right. Nice tech from Mongi Senior. All right. I think we're just gonna try to get a hit in. All right. Oh, uh, nothing, out, nothing out of it yet. Trying to establish that pressure. Oh. Yeah, they're just throwing each other out in the way. Oh, good work punch again. Hey, hey. Overhead. overhead. Boom. Is this gonna kill? It's Level gonna two? boom. That might. Yeah, that's that it. might actually oh, wow. kill. Yep. Dude, Kelvin just, Kelvin just, Bison you reach IT. I know, <laughs> that's literally that, that's, yeah. That's great. You reach yeah. IT, it's, man, that's, every time, yeah, yeah, I feel like Mongi Senior, what he has is, like, it makes you hesitant to, like, press a button, because, yeah. like, you, every, you have, a, like, a down in your mind where it's, like, oh, you press a button, and it's, oh, you're gonna get whip punished. Exactly. <laughs> so, he's making you feel every mistake real bad. Right. Too, you know? So, I think, like, but man, he what a what a solid player and man and oh, come on look, he's like I think he he's a really solid player too. I I feel like I don't know if he has practice with Jerry recently because he's been playing Bison ever since he's like he told me uh he's been playing Bison since like release so mm -hmm. probably went back to Jerry. Yeah, maybe I'm not, not comfortable with the mirror. Yeah, the mirror. but good showing from both players. Of course, of course. I wonder who we have next too. Do you see? Uh, it looks who like it's YJK and Quicksilver. Oh. Kimberly, Kimberly. <laughs> yeah, Kimberly matchups. All right, but yeah, man, like 
guild house on a saturday i know the weather is nice and we're all here saturday and afternoon, like a, hard to come out sometimes, yeah you know, and it's uh we're, we're, all, we're all in a like kind of a hot room I playing know. street fighter i like, think there's a fire outside too. <laughs> off, coming off the freeway i saw like a smoke oh like, yeah you know classic it's fire out here man it's <laughs> literally <laughs> But I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad Go House, shout out to Go House for creating this, house. Uh, creating this event, man. So, and then there's not just Street Fighter, there's like multiple games going, so. Like, every week. Yeah. Every week there's something. But if you want more like Street Fighter and Guild House, man, every Thursday. Every so, Thursday. That's right. So, come through. So, yeah, now we got YJK, Quicksilver, Kimberly. Both players played in the 77. Yes, they did. Did very well. They did very well. Oh, I mean, one of them did very well the yeah. other one you know <laughs> hey, <but laughs> at I, the end of the day we came yeah, up on top, hey, came up on top. That's, we were prepared yeah. right i would say these these uh, both so they're both playing kimberly but at the same time they play slightly kind of different yeah on like same with the pink ds light so i think like it's when you play one and you play the other it, it's that's not going to be like the same like like i think quick has more He's more like sporadic, more like he has different like, like WTF, WTF moments. Yeah. <laughs> like what the hell? But then like YJK is like in your face trying to like, like that. Yup. Yeah, yeah. 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 I actually don't know who's who. I'm it's assuming the... Correct. Yeah. You know how both of them play a little Yeah. Yeah, no, I think, I think that, this might be, this might be right. Okay. Yup. Oh, nice. yup. Oh. Oh yeah, now it's right. Now yeah, it's right. It's right. It's right. Oh, back throw. Yep. Put him in, in the corner. Oh, oh block. And oh, wow. Damn that. Really, that, really nice awareness. That, right. that elbow to fix up is so tricky, man. All right. So one we'll parts on the block for YJK. Nice oh. parry. Oh, but he just punches with the with the jab. Sorry and. Yep, just keeping the pressure going. Nice. Yep, throw in the corner. Puts in the corner loop. now. Oh. Now we're just gonna keep going right there. Oh my nice. god, keeping up that pressure. We're gonna see level line. three. Probably. No. Oh no. Two. Okay. All right. Oh yep. Nice. Oh no, no. <laughs> I know Chris gonna do it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he always wants to get that buff. It might also burn out. It's, too. I think it's gonna burn out. Good level three. Let's see what it is after here. All right, so we're. Oh, we're gonna try to go for the shimmy. He hits it with a sweep. Oh, God. That's right. gonna kill? No. Oh, oh, oh yep, DI. Even if he might have died from DI if he got hit too. Yeah. Oh. Nice tech from YJK. Oh, nice. and the trade, yep. And it looks like YJK taking round number one. All right. Oh, yep, oh, sorry. Wow. That's such a good move. Stand, stand medium kick. Oh, nice overhead. Okay. Into the back throw. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's working. Up. Yeah. Oh, good block. Nice. Oh, but Quick Silver still capitalized. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. no, uh. That's nice sweet. again. Always good in the clean. Yeah, why is it really he's putting on the pressure? It's not. Yeah. He's not making. He's not letting, uh. Quicksilver like establishes play size offense. Yep. Nice. Yes, and he's catching quick Super playing. Patient with that one too. Yeah, Bro. catching quick with buns. <laughs> yeah, he's here. <laughs> oh, let's see what. Yeah, boom, boom, into the corner. Are we gonna see? Uh, yeah, he saves it. He likes to save his uh, his level three. First hit that quick gets, he's probably gonna use it. Oh, good parry. Okay. To the back row. Let's see if Quick can establish his offense. Setups. Oh, I, I think he was trying to go for a shimmy maybe, but he, was, but he still got hurt. Oh, that should be it. Hey, hey, hey. Yup, and handshakes. Yup. Man, why did Why did K, dude? What up? All up in the face. No, super, super impressive. Like, in your face, aggressive style. It's really hard to just establish that pressure going in. Yeah. It really just moves faster. Round start. Pretty much. Pretty much. And he, and he knows how to, like, go fast and at the same time. As you saw earlier, it was like he just kind of waited and then noticed quick likes to press buttons, like, on wake up, like, whether it's parry, whether it's reversal. 
and he punished him correctly off of that. So, but man, what a good showing! Good, good, good showing, showing good showing. A lot of good matches today. A lot of great, a lot of, a lot of good, a lot of good players. A lot of good players, man. So, man, oh, we. Great man, I'm looking for the amateur bracket. Ah, oh, dude, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, is it starting? <laughs> <laughs> is it starting? <laughs> I have to go down to watch you guys, man. No, but man, yeah, you gotta look up the, the bracket. Let's see who's next. Dude. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. But chat, if you guys are watching, man, like I said, welcome to uh, Guildhouse Mayhem. I don't know if this is gonna be a monthly thing or if this is like a one-off thing, but um, it's definitely great. We have. You know, it's, it's nice to see other games here too, all together. Because usually for on the weeklies uh, on Thursday, it's only Street Fighter and Melee, and on other days they'll like like Tekken's on Tuesday, Strive and Ultimate's on like Wednesday. So it's nice to see like all the player, all the different games we can see. And there's more people to like enjoy. Like oh, oh, sorry, this looks pretty good. It looks like pretty fun. Oh, like Street Fighter is really fun. And so it's. It's cool to see like other games that you normally don't really get to see as well. Support your locals, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Support your locals. And here in NorCal, we have an abundance of locals, in my opinion. We do. We got one on Thursdays, one on Wednesdays. We have one for Street Fighter. We have the one every other Friday. It feels like. So, shout outs to all the TO. Shout outs to all the players that come in, and like just shout out to the overall like community. I know it's hard to sometimes go to these events. It gets sometimes it gets kind of expensive, but you know, appreciate everyone that shows up. You know, if you're here to compete, learn, have a good time, or you just want to vibe, chill with the homies. Exactly. You don't even gotta enter. Just come. Yeah, through. just come through. Exactly. It's always a good time. Come to your local support. Ooh. So I think I'm seeing off the corner now. We got. Let's say we got Tree Wiz and Mongi Senior. So yeah, I'm seeing that too. So there's like a meta game going on. Yeah. I don't know if it's a two-way meta game or maybe it's just one way but tree was has been playing dalsim, dalsim yep. yep he was he was telling me he had a secret character that he was practicing uh, a couple weeks ago he yep. wouldn't tell me who but found out it was dalsim and i believe it's for this reason really just for bison or just for kelvin <laughs> uh i think kelvin when he plays against sean or uh, tree Wiz, he goes geef i see okay because yeah. i think geef is a better matchup against right, against honda right. And so, what better he, way than go try yeah. than go than trying out Dalsim? Really and he cool. did. These guys did play. I, I know on Wednesday they put, he brought it out on Wednesday for the first time at Unit. I don't know if he brought it out. I don't know if Kelvin was here on Thursday, and I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure if they played each other yesterday at Campbell. So, uh, yeah. So we'll see. I'm. Uh, yep. We got Dalsim. And then, excited to see it though for, yeah. for the first time at least for me his, his Dalsim it, it's not I think it's like his his Honda is definitely way better of course best Honda yes <laughs> but his sim is it's still it's still pretty good for only like really trying for like maybe a week or two nice alright so let's see it's fun to watch definitely definitely oh, yep. the and sim it's like oil and water. All right. So, so what 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 Trius is trying to do establish is you know for Sim it's stay away as far as possible. For Geef it's get as close as you can get. Exactly. It's gonna be really tough. All those like super long normals, but if you can get out of the range, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh nice, nice All right. This is exactly where. Yep. You get off me, get off me, get off me. Oh, he tried to enter there, but unfortunately got hit with a jump in. Good dry reversal. I feel like I feel like she was wants to try to teleport out, but I think he's looking for a knockdown for it. Oh! Oh my god. SBD and Mongi Senior taking round number one. Really good pain. Yeah. So I think for for at least for this matchup, you just have to take the you just as a Geef player as a Geef player you just have to take the hits against like Sim. I mean, there's this one uh, one really good Sim player here named my name's Akumo. Oh, he always he always told me like yeah for Sim like sometimes you just gotta take it and if you want to get in 
And looks like, you know, it's, oh, oh, nice, level nice. three. I was gonna say, it's like, huh, huh. looks like Mong Senior wasted no time trying to get in, but he got a level three going from, from Tree Wiz. Now let's see his offense. Oh, and we're both at burnout now. Oh, this is looking not so good. Into the wow. SPE, this my kill. Yeah. Oh. So much damage, man. That is so tough. Oh, we're sticking with Zal Sam. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I would, I would, you would, he stuck with, stuck with it last time. All right. He wants to make sure he gets, I guess, the, the game practice, the sim practice. Oh, good. All right. Yes, sir. You play the zone game right here. Oh, he was almost ready for that jump in. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good, good teleport. Oh, definitely. A little floaty. A little float. A little float action. Trying to stay away. Oh, my gosh. The jump in. This is oh, so scary. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is where Wongi Senior thrives. Oh, good block. Or good bait into the SPD. One hit. One hit could work. Oh, he missed it. Oh, with the, he got the teleport. Longest senior on match point. All right. Bears good sweep. And already in his face. Oh, wow. try to get the anti air out. So good with every single jump. Into the SBD. All right, we got drive rush into something else. Oh, and he's ready. Let's see the punish. It's going to be a sweep and then, yep, because you're side switch. No oh, way. No, no way, man. Oh, my God. But this is, oh, winter some. Okay, so this is top eight. So it's first to three. All right, so we do have another chance. Yeah, here. so it looks like, it looks like True Wiz has another chance. Will he switch to? Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's, he's thinking. He's going to Honda. Go to what's comfortable. Yeah, definitely. Back against the wall. Do what you do, what you do best. So the battle of the big bodies. Yep. We got no gear with today, right? Oh, yeah, I know. He, he actually playing. He's playing. He's playing. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see how we switch this up here. Oh, oh. oh. again. Go on, man. Senior again. Be patient with his buddy. Yes. So good at just waiting right outside. Of the game. Yep. Oh, here, here's here's the clap combos. Boom, 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 boom. He's gonna he's gonna do it, and then we'll, we'll eventually we'll get an Ocho in. But he's gonna do it again. Oh, good. Good air, there. All right. Oh, good. That is such a good point. Yep. It's so funny. I stand medium punch is like top three normal in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> It's wasted on Honda. I you swear need, to God. You need something. <laughs> um, nah, I'm just being a hater. <laughs> oh, nice. nice with the headbutt. All right, True is on the board. All right. Okay, looking a lot more comfortable. Yo, on the Honda. Bam, bam. There it is. Oh. Oh, also, I think Crush and it's, uh, I think it's 2 0 uh, Mongi Senior. Alright, so we got Oh, good trade. Alright. But now Mongi Senior is getting in. Oh, yup. Really, really good for the corner. Oh, but that armor! Oh my god. If only, uh,. If only Honda had like a, had like a low, <laughs> I had like a low, uh, <laughs> low headbutt. Well, that'd be insane. Like Sagat. <laughs> oh, he missed the oh, he missed no. the ultra. Oh, oh, but wow. he got back on instead. And wow. boom, boom. And points really, on the really board good. for Tree Wiz. Great job for Tree Wiz, man. Very, Definitely very keeping it keeping him. it in right now. Yep. Oh, good. Yeah, it's there. Boom, boom, boom. Into the corner. Oh, 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 oh wow. hey. Oh, Cho. So fast. You can never see that command grab. Oh, he never see that command grab oh. either. <laughs> SPD. Light SPD. Oh, my God. All right. Now he's back in the wall. He's still just, he just, Delvin can just go in, like, if he wants to. But he's keeping him in the corner. Good. Good. Back. And then he goes for the back throw. Yep. Now puts Delvin in the corner. 
Punish? Oh no. Oh, what's that punish for? I don't know that. Alright. Oh, this is ready for the spawn. Oh my god, no. he's out of the corner just like that. He's got a free. Oh. Drive reversal, nice. Get out of the corner. Oh, oh, nice. there it is. Oh, uh, we have to. Oh, oh reset. Wow. Nice. He didn't want to. He didn't want to risk it. Three for this round. Yep. Punish? Oh no. I see. I see where he's trying to go with the Dal Simmers, but yeah, it, just, it is. It is. In, it, 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 it is in Sims' favor. Yeah. Very kind of opposites. But like, yeah, like I said, he's more comfortable. Oh my! Light SPD. Jesus. Go for low. Oh no, he's waiting. Oh. There it is. There it is. The second time now. Yep. Boom. Great sun now. Oh. Wait, did he miss? What? Oh no, I thought he jumped. Wow. Oh my god, this might, this might kill. Is it? No, oh. Barely. Just barely. <laughs> barely. Oh. Nice drive reversal. Get him off me. Oh, oh. And the slap. It looks like Molly Senior is on match point. Right here. Let's see what Shrewis can do. It's so hard to get to, to get, get in so you get stuff going. Alright. So running back and forth. Yep. Waiting for the perfect to get that normal punish and everything here. Yeah. It's fine. Alright. Slow back up down to the corner. Oh no. Oh, they're just playing now. They're just Oh, best oh. I have closest into. And some yeah. damage. Oh, and we're gonna see SPD. Yeah, he's just jumping. Right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good wow. stop sign. Are we using it? Yeah. Uh, Try to get um, as low of dry gauge as possible right now. Yeah. Now what the? What, what is the? Uh, he's almost in the corner yet. So we might do a dry brush sweep. Yeah. <laughs> or not sweep, like the. Yeah. Nice SPD. Oh, oh wow. there it is. The DX. Really, yep. really good. Air to air. One more hit. Oh my god, it's not looking oh. too good. Oh, he's he's one. I think he's one hit away. Yeah, one hit for both. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Realizing good. that Tree has been doing the, the reverse line. Yeah, good read from Monkey Senior. And he moves on to winners finals. Yeah. Man, that was. Like I said, Monkey Senior's on, been on, on a, a tear. tear man. Every tournament, it's like you know. I want at, at point at one point it was there was like a, since our top player has been uh, have been busy these last few months yeah. and has been showing up, Mr. Julio Fuentes. Uh, it's been a toss up between like you know it was Tree Wiz winning some of these tournaments or Trump. yeah Chump Slayer and it's like it used to be like oh if Chump Slayer wins one and Tree Wiz win, uh, wins the other and vice versa but putting Mongi Senior in the mix now and him. Winning these last few tournaments, it's it's kind of it's like oh man, it's like a putting a wrench in every everyone's know, plan. Man. So, but it's good. Ugh. We always need we need more competition. Get yeah, definitely, better, definitely. You know? So, I, man, but I want to get good like these guys one day. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. You're already <laughs> way better than me. I'm like the worst player here, but nah. we here. Yeah, but we still <laughs> come here. to your locals. You get better. Yeah, you do definitely come get to better. House every Thursday, Street Fighter and. What else is here? Melee, Melee, Melee on Thursdays. Thursdays. Yep. Wednesdays, Strive and, and Ultimate. Ultimate. And Tuesdays, Tekken. Yeah. That's like the weekly zone. Yeah. There's like, they put, they sprinkle in some like games like monthly. Mm -hmm. So, but I think those are like the three. Yeah. Uni every other week, yep. I know, Uni's every other week. We have, we have uh, our very own top eight or top six from Evo, Mario. Oh, for Uni, out. yep. Yeah. Uni, he, he shows up, best player in Uni in this yep. area. But, oh man, I, I, and look what we have. Is uh, it Mario? No, it's all, that's not Mario. But it's another Kim Oh, here we go. YJK, YJK and, and Pink DS Lights. Pink DS Lights smirking right now. Yeah, dude. yeah man, what he's about to do. I know, <laughs> YJK, he's been playing, he's probably been playing since before Pink DS Light was born. <laughs> Pink DS Light, isn't he just, he just turned 21? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Happy birthday, Pink DS Light. Yeah, so I think like, and now how we're saying YJK and Quick have all the K-Movie players have different play styles. Mm -hmm. the, same goes with it with Pink Dislike. Like, yeah. His, I think his his game plan, it just so it, like it's aggressive, but it like I don't I, like how I explain it. It's like it's like a flow. It, it flows like 
like water in a way. Just when he, when he gets his offense, like from knockdown to meaties to like setups, it just he always has the option. Right yeah. Fire. We'll see what he does against YJK here. I don't know if they've played before, but no, they play they play a few times. Okay. I think just like getting those grabs in early. Yep. Right now. Establishing establishing wow. the throw game. Oh, good job, YJK. And we're going to the back. Yep. yep. Back throw. That's such a good button too. Medium kick. Boom, boom. Oh, nice punish. Fun. Overhead. Uh, off of me. All right. Still, yeah, stuff like that. Oh, my God. Into forward throw. Get the damage. We're almost. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Think DS life. Back throw. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, uh, oh. Wait, did this kill? Yes. Boom. Oh, nice. We do this all day, every day. YJK <laughs> taking round number one. Round two. All right. Oh, shoot, Justin. What's up? You got Emmy back in soon. Oh, really? Yeah. Right now? Are they starting? I actually don't know. <laughs> we'll see after this match. Yeah. But yeah, let's let's see, let's see. Wow, all the coast to coast, all the way in the corner from YJK. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, nice, oh, nice wow. overhead. Really, really good. Oh, I think they are starting soon. I'll probably head off after this, yeah. after this match. I'll go down with you. Yeah. Let's see everyone play. Oh yep. Something this light. He's going for level three. Yeah. And Ninja Star is, uh, Cipher. I am oh, wow. but it doesn't matter. YJK, he got he got finish it. He's ending off a level three of his own. Nice, nice. Oh, definitely. And YJK taking game number one. Kimberly wins round one. Uh, why do you, oh man, see, he's still getting that pressure going. Yeah. All right. Oh. oh wow. Go for the low. Putting, putting. Oh, nice jab. He knew the holes. Going for a throw. Oh, what's the mix? Oh, he's just knocked down. Good parry. Hey, hey, hey. We gonna see level one. Oh no. Oh, bam. Hey, hey, hey. Love grab. and come and grab. And really solid <laughs> man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was like, <laughs> Oh, good punch again. Oh, good block into the. Oh, good oh, back throw. throw. Okay. More damage? Actually, I don't know if back throw does more damage, oh, so no. than, than this than for our Oh, but I think it's like I'm in the corner. Right, back into the corner. Let's see what we can do oh, right punish? Here. Oh. Actually, I don't know if that punishes. I, I realize I don't know that much about him. <laughs> oh, the back throw. Oh, good. Anti-air. Nice. Into the command really grab. Nice. And we're going to extend. Oh, he doesn't have a meter. Oh, I got the wrong one. <laughs> All right. Ah. Oh, oh, wow. Good reactions from Pink Dia Slight. I would say spend it for it right go here. for the next game. Has that buff in the next round, looking pretty good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Trying to get on the board right here, too. Oh, man. Oh, look at Mario when he got Banjo in the, the back. The boys yeah, the in the boy back. Cheering for a pink kiss light. <laughs> oh, but we got the YJK just going in. Oh, we got to see level three of his own. Bomb set up. Let's see the bomb. Oh, oh, we missed. Oh, oh time. Early, yeah. Early. But we got throw loops. Oh, wow. You have to carry the second hit, too? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's tough. Just gotta hold that. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, oh, good check. Wow. And we go for a forward throw. And we go for it again. Oh, good tag. Oh, my God. Let's see. Oh, hey, hey, hey. All oh, right, bam, 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 bam. And then we're going to go for it. Yep. Three. And right. that. I don't think he's... Will it kill? Will it kill? Damn it, doesn't. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh no punish. Now nah, there's the punish. Why check him up? The boys in the back. Zero. Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh. 
Yep, nice overhead. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Oh, good jump in by Pink DS Light. SJSU zone. SJSU Definitely has a alma mater right there. <laughs> oh, wow, goes for the throw. And you see that? That's see, flows like that yeah. is what what Pink D is like good for. Oh my God! But good jabs. Oh, wow. oh go for the low. Why did you keep back throw? Opening. Really, really good stuff. All right, why Oh my God! There's living buttons. Oh, good block. Oh my God! Why JK? Oh, oh, good jab. I'll do it again. Oh, oh, I think he's gonna go for the. I thought he's gonna go for the ground. Yeah. Too, man. Oh my god. Uh, all right. Bumps it up. Oh. Yeah, you gotta be ready right <laughs> away. Right uh, uh, and then one. Level one. Okay. Level one. Okay. Hey, use the use the can. Yep. yep. Match point for High JK. No. God. Nice. Nice. Get off. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got for the throw, back throw. Yup. Oh, good, good with punish. Yeah, All right, come on. Uh, let's there see. Come on, pick your slide. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Nice. Yup. Oh, oh, throw. No. Okay. Here's true. Still alive, he got he got he got a round off. He got a round off. Alright. Let's see what what? They both got me oh, oh wow. into the th floor throw. Into up. Good wow. throw. Did really jump in. Really Are we gonna see setups? Are we gonna see level three? Oh no! What? He it. Oh, oh no. So tough. Oh he got the reload. Oh, oh good wow. job! Oh, he had time to jab. Oh, good the block by the diesel! Oh my god! Setups. Ah, uh, bomb. Oh, okay. What is what? Is, I don't know. <laughs> what's going on here. Are these what's actual real? setups or are they just like? <laughs> All right, I think this should this should be dead. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think my the amateur bracket starting. That's why I see on start GG. So I'm, I'm probably gonna head out. So all right. commentary block. Yes. Okay, stream. We'll see you guys later. Yes. Continue on with these matches. It's There's gonna hype. be some great matches. And Maybe we'll get amateur bracket on stream. No, I hope not. That's <laughs> not. And hope you guys are. Uh, hope you guys have a good day. Have so a good we might come back later, but if not. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the stream.
Cool. Welcome to Guildhouse Mayhem. This is Doki Doki FTR and my partner in crime, Waterboy, and we are going to be casting what I believe is the top eight in this amazing bracket. We've been having a lot of fun playing out here tonight. As you can see behind me, we still got casuals going. People are still rocking it. People are still having a good time. Yeah, man, I can't wait to see who's showed up to this top eight. I got the bracket right in front of me just so we can keep you guys updated with everything. We got, oh man, is it top eight or top four? I think we're, we're, we're rounding out because I'm looking at winners finals here. It's like already lined up for us. Okay, we got losers quarters next. Tree Wiz and Mix Up City. That's gonna be a fun one. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be fun because we got a Honda player that dabbles in Dalsim versus the hardcore Lily fanatic, who has made everyone here hate the character. Oh, we're talking about Matt. Uh, Mix Up City, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. It's definitely a demon. <laughs> yeah. Mix Up City is our token Lily main that makes all of us. Fear the little demon because <sighs> I, I dude I love seeing people's progress. I remember the first time I, I encountered Mix Up City, I saw him playing at uh, Genesis. Nine? Was it Genesis? Or well, the I, most recent Genesis, right? I can't I haven't put male play at Genesis yet, so that's beyond me. And then like he was just he was command throwing a lot. Like he favored it. Um and then like he was just like it was like when I was watching him, it was like he was only doing command throws. But as he was just like mixing it up better, having those better layers, he started improving like tremendously. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I've been on the business end of it a few times. I've seen it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you feel that too. You're like, damn, I did not guess right here. The grappler meta. Oh yeah, I, f I feel it. I've, ma I've managed to beat him once in tournament. That was that was like three weeks ago. He probably would wipe me now. But you know, nah, we man. take the those. Way, the way we you're playing today, those. bro. I see you could. I think you, dude. You probably like. You would definitely have to give him some trouble. You know, you're playing really good today, man. Well, for now we get to focus on the two. I don't think Tree was realizes I'm up here because every time he knows I'm up here, he stares in the camera and tries to steal my soul. So I don't think he realizes I'm up here yet. So we're gonna enjoy the fact that he's not trying to steal my soul yet. Focusing. Oh, he's got the drink. The Red Bull drink, maybe. <laughs> oh. Are we gonna see the rise of Beer Wiz? Okay, let's hope he doesn't see my orange beanie and realize I'm up here and start staring into my soul. <laughs> don't do it, Tree Wiz. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's comfortable, not, not a stranger to this. And a mix of city, you know? It's really solid fight. Oh, okay. You have two of the Guildhouse OGs going head to head. This is going to be a very thrilling match. I am hyped for it. I'm hyped for it because they're not going against me. <laughs> oh man. You're starting off. Of course, the best part about Street Fighter is making faces at your opponent before you even get started. Just a little shaky though. Mental what, game. What Let's go. Oh, get already got the stock. Yeah. Oh, Trey's on the anti-air. And there's the command throw you are just mentioning. He favors that command throw. But both of these characters do have command throws. So gotta watch out for it. Alright. And similar tool sets, right? Just to fly across the screen and get it going. Oh, he's got the charge. Chewie is often to go in here. A lot of safe pressure here. Jumps the command throw mix up. And now Lou's gotta contend with the big meaty arms. And the headbutt. Ooh, a whiff command throw. Far for that one, looks like. Oh, we're gonna oh they both the got powered up. Yep, oh, when he guessed right. One praise the wind, one praise the sun. Which one's gonna win today? Oh, it looks like two wins here, as long as it doesn't drop. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna be round one. Round two. Every day they shuffle in for position. Praise the sun, get the condor spark. Ooh, we try to try to react to that, but too late. So you got to take some mix ups on that stop sign. Going out the palms, going the body slam and the butt slam. Good check on that. You always gotta watch it every time Honda does that, because he does that split leg thing. You're either gonna get an overhead or you're gonna get the command butt slam. Either way, it's not a good time. Praise the sun. Did he bait it? Oh, oh. stop pushing the button. Except City can get something going here. Oh, just dashes up into the. Oh. A lot of pressure here. Except City's got something out. Oh, Ooh, DI! Good check on the light headlight. What are we gonna go for? Oh, great anti air. Honor's in the corner, it's dangerous. Both oh, burned out. He was can chip here, but he needs to make sure he's, he blocks it. So. Oh, oh, oh gets catches him on the way down. Honda oh, takes game one. Getting the first game, yep. Round one. Making sure he's hydrated there. Yeah, you gotta stay hydrated, especially when it's hot these days. That's plus. Yep, pressure. Oh, counter poke right there. Oh, unsafe. Fire. 
Raise the sun, misses the command throw, but gets the, gets the regular throw. We'll take those. We take those. Alright, both of you guys just waiting each other. Mix up City in the corner, though. Oh, double jump. That's a little greedy. Let's see if City picks up on it. Ooh, I saw a check. That was a great read. Level one gonna kill here? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely level one kill right there. Yeah, that little extra hands, man. You see right here, Mix Up City's just getting walked down slowly. A lot of respect to Tree Wiz. Stocks. One plays the sun, one plays the wind. Mix is plus one. Mix is to a counter point. Mix up here. Let's see, Nasty Wiz gets the parry. Gets excellent for the parry. That's a good way to get out of that because when he starts that pressure, you always got to be wary of that command throw coming out. Exactly. It's very linear game plan. It's really strong. From it's very strong. He has a whole great linear game plan, great anti air, and a great way to just make Honda have a bad time. But Tree Wiz is like, I don't care. You guys have all the tools in the world. You're going to catch my big, meaty bombs. Oh, he's doing this to burn him out there. I like the decision because he's going to be really close to burn out now. Got to make it really guessing. And he opts to burn himself out. out. Oh, oh, what a catch reaction to level three. three. Beautiful, beautiful. Locked in. Okay. All right, get a blood slam. Wake up. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have anything to answer the second one. Doesn't have a super. Doesn't have enough to kill out of this. I don't think he can do much. He doesn't have enough to either. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh, oh this the hand blood slam. Dang. Dips, dives, oh, and no. dunks. Just immediately. Two that low. is two uh, up. Uh, looks like we're going on first three. Yep. Set point for Tree Wizard. Oh, got the hands up. We both got charges. All right. Trying to fake each other out, making make each other go away. Tree Wiz not biting. There he goes. Yeah, take your turn. Oh, there it is. I mentioned it earlier. That is a sneaky butt slam every time he raises his leg. Tree Wiz just showing you the medium punch. Next up, sitting again, just getting walked out. Trying to bait something here. No bite. Getting those stocks. Oh, excellent. Great call on the command throw. Like you said, come at any time. You call it right, you get a lot of damage out of it. Yeah, that's what makes grapplers kind of like, uh, you know, their archetype, right? You're, you're taking a risk for the mix up. Like, on, on your offense, you're taking a big risk. Yeah, every time you hit that command throw, if they get called, you're just, yeah, that's a bad time. Drew is looking to close it out here, but Mix Up City gets perfect parry. Can we do anything off this? It's gotta go in. Gotta go in. Oh, it gets this one. That's a lot of damage. It's a charge up. I like it. Okay, fighting back here. Oh, true oh, so Headbutt answer. Beautiful, beautiful. Went OD on that. Taking no chances. Nice pressure here for True Wiz. And he uses those. Uh, See, this, this, has been this, this has been the tail of the game. Every, at the start of every round, Mix Up City's got a back up because of the pressure. Haunt just as he pushes him back, and then if you're blocking, you're still going to the corner. Yeah, I would definitely like to see Mix Up City play a little bit closer, right? Just to, like get a little bit more comfortable, make Tree Wiz uncomfortable. You know? Yeah. But that's probably why he doesn't do it. Look at that punish counter. Big, if we get Oki. This is going to be big. Yep. Are we going to see the Ring of Fire? Oh, one more Mix Up. He's going to save it for kill. Okay. Everybody clap your hands. And Tree Wiz, like a solid 3-0, man. Yeah, Tree Wiz did not give any room to breathe. It seemed like every single round, Mix Up City was on the back foot. It kept getting backed up into the corner, and once it was in the corner, it's, that's that's when Honda's got a game plan on you, especially as Lily. Lily does not have a lot of good answers to get out of the corner. Yeah, and it's hard, right? Because, you know, Tree Wiz being the solid player he is, he's, he's going to be checking all, like, the, all the spacings that Lily wants to throw out those those counter spires, those wins to get yeah. in. Right, you see him charging up, you know it's coming, and he checked it really early. And I don't know if that made Mix Up City hesitate his game, but it looks like he just didn't really find a comfortable position to be in to like fight back. And yeah, sometimes the hardest part about playing this game is trying to find the rhythm that your opponent can't figure out. That's definitely one of the hardest things, right? Because you come in with the same timings on your button presses, the same moves. Like people will adapt to that quickly, and if you don't adapt back and start changing it up, then you're just gonna get blown up by timing, right? They got things like perfect parry in this game that just blow people's options up, right? Oh yeah. 
And especially against True, as True is just so good about adjusting his timing. The second something stops working, he immediately adjusts. So you gotta be, it's like you're, you're constantly playing this game and trying to be one step ahead of someone. Right. Man, that's the and beauty. And trying to be one step ahead against True is, is not easy. And then, um, I wonder if we're gonna see more of his sim. He did pick up a sim for some of Honda's really bad matchups, right? We saw yep, him uh, he did. He bust has it out against. Up a sim. Yeah. We saw him bring it out against the uh, Mongi's uh, Zangief, which I, I believe that's horrible for Honda. Like, Zangief. Uh, He's got a lot of answers where you just gotta take it, right? As Honda well, player, it doesn't help that every time everything that Honda does puts him right in SPD range. That's true. All the things he wants to do, it's like hello. Yeah. yeah. Say hello to my loyal fans. Like, and, and then it's just like kind of what happened, mix up uh, city there, right? What he would do when True is would do like a, a, a button that would put him negative right in front of him. He would get the command throw going, but that's even scarier with Zangief, right? Oh yeah, it's it's so much scarier with Zangief, especially because Zangief can reach a little further. Yep. Oh, and we got the jury versus. Uh, Kimberly, right here. Yep, this is gonna be a fun one. Uh, Yo, what's up with the? I, <laughs> no, I like Mario shirt, man. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, I, I wasn't gonna say anything, but I was wondering the same thing. I was curious about that too. Oh man, uh, is that a girlfriend? I don't know. That's actually a good question. I, I didn't. S yeah, I'm not sure. Can't see from here. Let us know. <laughs> All right, Kimberly, first player. We've got pink DS light. And both these guys are extremely good competitors. They both all, they both regularly place high whenever they show up. Yep. Just putting a little Pokemon War here. Mario gets Ooh, Fireball. Gets that fireball that's gonna combo off that. Yeah, I saw that earlier. I had to face Mario earlier. Did the same combo against me. And he already has him in the corner. And Kimberly has the same issue as Lily in that regard. Like they have a hard time fighting their way out of the corner once they get a good hit. But Kimberly is able to walk you from one corner to the other if they get a good combo. Not a lot of damage, but positioning is like solid. Mario, nice with the counter poke. Trade there. Mario goes So much pressure. This is why Jury is a million dollar character. Oh, is this gonna kill? That's a level two. That's gonna it's gonna hurt a lot if it doesn't kill. He is burnt out though. Is that oh DI. Ooh, good answer to that one. That's gonna be a good combo. With the, with the overhead. Now yeah, they're both burned out. Gonna spend a level two. Oh yeah, for sure. Take the round. Man. That will kill. And they broke burned level two, and that is a bad situation for Mario. We burned level two, and you didn't get the round. Yeah, unfortunate. And I gave him permission to use his level two back to pulls it out. Now you're back even here, but you're up around. So Pink DS light going with pressure. No anti over there. Mario gets a throw, puts him in the corner. Oh, and he gets a jump in with the elbow. You hey, gotta respect that elbow. Oh, they both jumped and didn't want to push the button. Nice, try to wrestle big. Mario saying, I gave you one, you're not gonna get two. Oh. <laughs> and the drop there from Mario, but he manages it to close it out right there. Back him off, so he back. He gets the poke. Sure, both of them want to put you in the corner, but Kimberly has a much worse time off of it if they're on the defensive. Oh, and the shimmy, big damage. Oh, he drops it. Lotek gets the up kick. Nice. Nice to Mario. Oh, we're going to level three. Yeah, he almost burned himself out there. I agree. Great decision here for Mario. Just turn my back. Gets the gauge back. Puts, gets a little bit of a breather. Puts Pinky aside on the back foot. He's sitting on a lot of mirror here, so next hit could be the end. Nice! Excellent way to check the teleport. Well, burns himself burns out. out. That's not good. It does have the level 3, gotta respect it. But has no respect to level 3, he says, I don't care. Try it, I dare you. It was, it was crazy, because he was mixing it up so bad. Like, you can't just mash it there, right? You might be game. So you gotta really pick your spot. And Mario made him hesitate. Good stuff to Mario for closing that first game out. It makes it so it makes it so hard to call. These are both such fast-paced characters. By the time we make a comment, they've already moved on. Right. Mario's getting the fireball out, He's walking in behind it. Jumps out, but uh, it's like it's going counter. back to the corner. Like I said, Kimberly can walk you into the corner and force you that way. Oh, shimmy again! The shimmy. 
think it's going to be a kill. As long as it doesn't be... drop it, oh, it's right there. It. He drops it. Oh, and just but... the random beat. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think he's trying. He's trying to check the uh, commit to throw off that uh, run up. I see. I see. Could be. G that's the thing about Kimberly. You got respect because when they run up, you, they can also come back in with a throw. And if they do it, it's just like, okay, just got thrown. Lovely. And that that's the situation. I killed. I mean, it's all she has, right? And then, and then that crazy overhead that like. It's all lovely for sure. <laughs> okay, but this. As you say that, right? Mario hits him in the corner. Goes for the throw loop. Another one, maybe. Oh, I was hoping for three. They never expect the third one. Oh, he's got a little scramble here. Nice. I think they just like getting control. I feel like we're watching the game. Wasn't they just keep going back and forth from one corner to the other. Next hit, good kill here. Level three. Oh, no, he can get up that. He gets a mix up, though. Doesn't need the level three. Takes it anyway. He thinks it, he has light tying it up. Dang, pretty solid. When you get this point, when you're in top eight, everyone is playing at the top of their game. Everyone's won you know, three, four, five games to get to this point. Everyone is warmed up. Everyone's adjusted. It's it, you're not getting the early game gifts. Yeah. But no. you will get the early game throw loops. <laughs> I always say, do it three times. They never expect it the third time. It, it's all depending on the player, right? Like the personality type. You gotta know like, when, when can I cash out on this? When's gonna tech? Sometimes they never tech, and they're just like, I'm just gonna keep eating throws. He'll eventually stop throwing. Yeah, but it looks like PTS Light knew that uh, Mario was teching on the first throw interaction, right? That makes up. He got it two rounds in a row. Ooh, oh, good yeah. answer. That's going to hurt. Oh, cash is out. Nice. All right, looks like PTS Light has recovered. He was dropping a little bit of strings earlier, especially when he had Mario in the corner. But now he's, uh, he's holding it down. He's, he's, he's finishing his combos. He's we'll dialed in. Oh, with the elbow. Mario ready. In the corner with you. Okay, Tex right there. Excellent. Oh, Mario, good hit. Up. More pressure here. When you see him turn blue, you gotta throw him. Ooh, catch him time. on the back dash. With the overhead. We're going back corner to corner yet again. Not many matches go corner to corner like Jury versus Kimberly. Yeah, this one in particular, right? Oh, gets a stomp out in the follow-up. Oh, it doesn't convert. The good part is we get to see the entire Coliseum map because they keep us going side to side. All right. <laughs> yeah, Mario's need to get some of these anti airs going. I know it's hard because Kimberly has the uh, elbow, but it's, it's uh, definitely picky as likes. You know, yeah, two it, games it, in a row. We need to see if Mario can adjust and start taking these back. He's not looking in the air. He's too focused on the ground right now. See that? Jerry does have like a DP that goes like with one of the biggest hitboxes, so you gotta walk up a little bit. It does have a cover ball box. Yeah, it does have a tin wheel of death. You have not seen it though. Then again, Kimberly's one of the few characters that can change their trajectory by throwing that elbow out. Yeah, it does make you hesitate on the anti-air, right? Did you know the. Oh, uh, there's the anti-air. Oh, nice. Right out the corner. Oh, he tried to backdash, but the driver first hit it. Okay, sweet punish. What we got? Back in the corner with you. What, you think you're too good for your home? Get the elbow there. All right. This could be it. Oh, bad timing for that reversal. That's probably the round. Yep, there's level two. That's going to do it. Not sure about these defensive options. It's hard. It's, it's so hard to guess and check. Especially if PTSL, he switches up his coverage every time he every, he switches up his reach every time he goes in. So you never, even if you think you got it down, no, he's gonna do something different. You're not gonna expect it. Yeah, definitely good at forcing him to guess, especially for game there. He made the right option just to back off. And Mario throwing low, going high, throwing the spin. Oh, gets the medium kick. Okay, we're just gonna do the back throw. That's fine. Gets a meaty. What are we doing? Go for three. Oh, he <laughs> thought he would tech there. He went for the, the jump. Well, I said you gotta go for three. Oh, nice check on the teleport. Can we make something happen, Mario? We got plus frames, stagger pressure. Okay. Pink DS Life's defense is amazing on the other hand, right? Just taking all the blocks, right? Not not pressing back, just, right, just especially, comfortable. Yeah, especially because Kimberly does not have as many options as a lot of people to get out. There is no invincible DP in their arsenal. Just slightly off on that elbow drop. 
And he is playing the lead, right? It is 2-1 right now, right? So It is 2-1, it is match point, it is in Tokyo Side's favor. So why, why take the risk, right? At least you can get the download like, later around, especially when you're up. Thinking about that mental game. Drive reversal, that's the first uh, reversal option, and Mario baited it. Okay, doesn't get a full combo, but we get a follow-up. these exchanges. Oh, he went all in. He's burnt out. He went all in, burned it all out, but didn't quite get the app. Is he blocking? Is he blocking? No, he pushed a button. What a read from the uh, PTS life there. This could be the swing to get for him to close it out. But Mario's sitting on meter, so he can't. It's going to be a lot of damage. He's going to have the boost, but yeah, he does have level three. Level three hits wins, but that's not going to matter. He doesn't have super attuny kill. Not sure. Not, not quite. One more. One more guess. Mario, what can you do? Chip out, chip out. There you go. Going for the chip. As soon as he had that opening, that was the, that was the best option for Mario. And now Mario keeping it, keeping it competitive, staying, staying alive, staying alive, ah ah, staying alive. <laughs> I knew I'd get you to do it. Is a booty on the blowfish? <laughs> no, no. Sorry, I'm way off. All right, you are way off. Anyways, oh, gets the other quarter. Okay, so maybe keep uh, this light. I was in the corner. Okay, Mario smartly driver rushes there, but it's it might be risky because he gets to jump in. Watch his resources. You were so far off by a double check. Staying alive is by the BGs. That's that's what I think I meant to say. What I said, that's, like something, some another band from that era, you know. The thing is, you, you, it was so far to left, you know, completely made me blank myself. <laughs> You're like, wait, was it them? <laughs> no, like, I, knew, yeah. I knew it wasn't it, but it completely chased the correct answer out of my mind. Oh, yeah, glad you looked up the first one of us. Oh, Pink DS like it's the first hit on set point here. Oh, what's the mix this time? Drive reversal again. This time, the defensive options are working out. You can sense that uh, Pink DS is getting a little bit more antsy on the offense, so the drive reversal is working. I'd like to see more parries from Mario. Ooh, playing the mix-up game. Every time you push a button, you're guessing wrong. This might be it. That's going to be level three at least. It has to be. All right, it, it is level three. Yeah, it's damage. It's, I don't think it's going to kill. I don't think it's going to kill, but it is going to give the boost. Mark can definitely come back here. He has enough resources to do. Oh, it kills. I, I, We're both wrong. The risk was calculated, but damn, we suck at math. <laughs> I, dude, uh, you know, whenever I see Kimberly, I just assume bad damage. Yeah. That's true. I didn't even catch the starter. So. To be fair, I never once professed to be good at math. In fact, last week when I was on stream with Squabblethorn, I did say I am terrible at math. Do not take math notes from me. English notes, okay. History notes, okay. Don't don't copy off a math test. You are going to fail. Yeah, um, you know, man, it'd be hard to copy off you, man, because like I I like I wouldn't I wouldn't be sure. <laughs> yeah, it, my history homework, yeah, by all means, I'm gonna get most of that right. English notes, okay, fine. But math, do not. There, there's a reason why math took me so long to get to finish. Oh, I, I hated math. I was good. Actually, no. Real talk. I was good with math till they stopped using numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, what was it? X. That was the first. Uh, I, I thought th that was the a last ten. time. I don't know what happened to your X. Stop asking why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Y is, but I'm pretty sure X is like a ten in some language, right? So right, because you would see like the old movie titles, like that. Oh, like, like the a, Roman numerals. Yeah. Yeah, like like Final Fantasy, right? Like I knew a V, yeah. but they never brought V, so we just went straight to ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, V is 5, X is 10. Yeah, don't don't uh, ask me beyond that because I will forever get those wrong. And then 1 is still 1, so that we got that going. Oh, yeah. That doesn't change. 1 is always 1. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so what we got on deck next? Let's see. Let me see. Let Who me is see. It? Let me see. Okay, I'm not sure. Are we going to go to loser semifinal next, or are we going to go to winner's final? Do we know? Okay, it looks like Monkey Senior versus YJK. We are going to get winner's final. And if that stands weird. Actually, I'm not sure what Monkey's going to play. Is he going to bring out the Geef again, or is he going to bring out a Bison? He's been, I've been seeing him run straight Bison the whole time, and only Geef for like one or two matchups. Usually Honda, right? A Tree Wiz, True. for sure. I see him bust out the Geef, but he's really comfortable with Bison and, and like every other person that he's played so far. Yeah, he's his Bison is something to be feared. And I think uh, that's just, you know, Manji as a player, dude. Like, he he was, I, I I was playing him in casuals at Utah after that tournament he had just won this week. And then he was just playing Aki. And I was just like, whoa, I've never seen you use Aki on stream or anything. And, dude, it was crazy. I was getting lit up. And it's just like, probably probably week one, but he's just destroyed. You know what I mean? Like, he has, he's that level. He's right? got the neutral. He's, like, the biggest part of Manji Senior's game is he has the neutral game. He knows the distance to stay at to mess you up and give you a bad time. Yeah. Yes, he's got the combo pressure too, but the biggest thing is he just 
he wins neutral. Yeah, definitely the neutral is really strong, right? And um, what I feel from him whenever I play him is uh, the patience. He, he's willing to let you just hang yourself. And he's oh, also sure. ready on defense for all the answers. He, like, he has all the answers ready. Just You can't really, you got to start making him guess, which is really hard because like you said, his neutral is so strong. So getting him in the position to guess is like already difficult. Cause oh, for he's, sure. He's playing it well. And um, another thing that he does, he adapts like probably faster than any player I can think of. Like, oh, for sure. Yeah, I I, uh, I played him. In, I played him a couple weeks ago, and like I managed to take one round off of him, and he adjusted so quick. Like the very next round, he's like, okay, I worked last round. It's not working no more. It's like okay. Yeah. He adjust, he adjusts so fast. It's like it, it, it's like playing three D. You're playing three D chess with him. And he's adjusting so much faster than me. It's like ah. And it's how a, do you process it's a, this? It's a, definitely a skill. Or like he's like he's he's got it because the adjustment he makes is like I, I do one block string, which um, may or may not hit him right. But depending on how that situation where it, uh, plays out right, the next interaction I do the same exact block string. He already plays the counter. He already countered it. Like oh, yeah. something like oh I have a long start but gives me plus string. He does the poke first and gets the initial counter hit. And it's just like, wow, like I got red, I oh, got yeah. downloaded, and like you'll see that a lot. Oh, yeah, and you mentioned the hardest thing about him is trying to make him start guessing. But well, YJK plays Kimberly, and that, his Kimberly is one of those ones that forever and for always will make you guess. So in terms of so matchups, YJK may have be the exact so this, this thing is, that we need to see. This is a, what is it? The unstoppable force, force versus the immovable object. So if they're starting off slow with the neutral. Yeah. Already the whiff. Like I said, neutral, you, you gotta be careful when you push buttons. You knows the distances. What are you gonna do? Yeah, take two throws with the mine. Oh, and he gets the back throw on accident. What a punish on the um, Superman, whatever you call that. Oh, and back the back throw again. Maybe that was just a perfect. Throw it back twice to make sure he goes in that corner. Oh, nice back dash from YJK. Oh, but it doesn't get the conversion. Bison almost burns out here. I think YJK smells blood. Pressure? That's a good throw. Oh, and he just gets to go with the scissors. Ooh, lovely over here. Like I said, making him guess every single time. Yeah, Kimberly is a character that can do that. Oh, oh yeah, Bison. Not quite. Okay, I wasn't sure. Oh, it just teleports in. Monkey didn't check it. He's guessing. Oh, oh he another! Another one! Another one! And his defensive options when you have to guess, right? When you're in a negative and he burns out, he's just like, all right, I'm just gonna super and look for the gap, and he found it. Incredible. Well, that does put him down at disadvantage in terms of the super meter. And so this is what makes you guess your offense against it, right? So we got the, uh, you know, Jeff is playing, we'll just characterize it as the unstoppable force. Yeah. The movable object would be the bison throw. Oh, but we got offense too. Like, okay, you wanna do the super check? I can super check you too. Here we're going in. Nice block, did we get punished? No. The thing we're not talking about though is the mental damage though. Catching two supers in a row. Now every time he's got a super you gotta be worried about that. It's gonna make you hesitate just a little bit and hit the buttons. For sure, but I think it's, uh, YJK for sure, like, he's used to this. Oh! He's comfortable, you know? Are we gonna see a level three? I would save it. I would definitely save it. It's Bison here. At least a level one though, if you need to. Yep. So the only thing I have to counterpoint though is that uh, Kimberly's level 3 gives a boost. Right, the speed boost. But you, I, it's, it's like a hard trade off, right? The boost playing footsies, uh, I don't know if Kimberly's uh, prefer that over the damage you can cash out later, right? Especially for last round, you don't want to be down all that meter. So yeah. it's, it's always a tough call for sure. Oh yeah. Gets the overhead again. The overhead is putting in some miles today. Nice. Conversion off the counter hit. There you go. Go for the plus friend meet. That makes sense. Oh, here we go. Okay, just juices it back off. Monkey just playing patient, defensive. Good side switch there. Okay, make something happen. Oh, get the Psycho Crusher into level 3. Right, he's gonna get burnt out. But he's sitting on too far, so he can fight back a little bit at least. Yeah, burnt out against Bison is not a fun spot to be. So much other stuff is plus. And all it's gonna take is that one last combo to take game 1. Monkey take the first game, but it's really close here. You know, why'd you kick can pull something out here? Nice pressure, nice overhead. Starting it off. Okay. Get that cycle crusher. Every time I've noticed that it's twice now. Kimberly just tries to do the little elbow drop, trying to do the spacey trap, and every time gets caught by the cycle crusher. Yeah, it's it's probably his best answer here, right? One up for sure. Just at the range that he's doing it at. Oh, YGK has him in the corner here. This could be game. Making him a guess. Oh, Missed the whiff punish, but gets the counter poke after. 
Level one. Just my kill? I'm never sure anymore, man. <laughs> it's like, we get it wrong once now, we're second guessing ourselves the entire rest of the, of the stream. It's like, nah, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, oh there it is. here. The overheads, man, just getting through. Why you can't really get at those overheads? Sneaking them in, he gets the low for that. Alright, you push him back. So much pressure. Nice, gets the GRT cancel. Gets a mine on him, okay. And just waiting, hoping he misses him. That's super. Oh, plus frame is in the plus frames. What are we gonna do? It's so crazy when Bison does the double knee. You're just like, damn, what if I did press? And he, that's what he wants you to think, so he's gonna jab after you. Just patiently backing off, right? This is all he's pressed with me. Even though he's down, even though he's trying to make a comeback here, he's waiting for the spot. Every time, that's three times now I've seen where Kimberly goes for the jump and it gets checked by Psycho Crusher. And now you gotta be careful of the pressure when the super coming out. Did he check it? it? Nice. He checked it. And that should do it unless he drops the combo. No drop here. Bop. 1 1 in winner's finals. That's right. what you love to see. This is what you love to see. You love to see him going back and forth. Yeah, and this has just become a two out of three. But I, I, I like the way that Monkey's playing. For sure, he, he's being super patient, and the way YGK is opening up is also incredible. We're, watch, we're really watching that go down. Oh, Dang, YGK the gets one corner. All because you made the mistake. Ooh. YGK is adjusting. He's learned that every time he throws an elbow drop, he's catching a cycle crusher. But if he doesn't throw the elbow, he stays in the air long enough for cycle crusher to pass him harmlessly. Oh, big hit. Mine on. You really gotta guess it. He didn't take the throw. Like you thought he would. Oh, did not react to the TI. This is the round. Oh, oh not quite, not quite. Oh, he gets an elbow. Can he do anything up this? Oh, unfortunate drop here. And, and chip out. It's gonna be really hard. Yep, take the trade. We take those. So hard to come back on Mongo style. Oh, gets the uh, catch the throw, okay. Nice check on the drive rush from Mongi. Pizza's here. Oh, so let's get the Oki. Yeah. Ooh, good answer. Oh, definitely got caught pushing above that time. Yo, adding the layers. It's like, you better pay attention when I have one bar. He's got a bar back, so you still gotta watch out for it. Oh, hard knock down, meaty cross up. Uh, we gotta see, I was about to say, we gotta see level three here. Oh, for sure. You gotta get some momentum to the back in this round. Especially because it's going around two. You're gonna have time to get a, at least one, maybe two more bars back. But right. first, you gotta win this round. Oh, empty jump, and he gets the back throw. Ooh, oh, God, he's just showing the DI. What a, what a play. This has been a common thread. Whoever is on the defensive in the corner is the one that's been losing. And you see, like, it's so hard to fight like, in the corner against either of these two. For sure. And you see, like, his meta stack is still overloaded, right? Like, a DI in that situation could cost him the round right there, right? Oh, yeah. But he's willing to take that. Like, he, 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 he's, like you're looking for everything else, maybe not this. Ooh, perfect lovely carry. perfect carry. Doesn't quite get enough follow-up, though. Gets follow-up on that, though. Okay, so that's what JK gonna do. Oh, what's the throw? But it's okay, he gets the sweep trade. So has Bison in the corner here. Oh, Bison's getting out. Punish? Yes. Back Punish in the corner with you. What, you think you're too good for your home? You gotta watch out, because when's that super gonna come out? At some point. There it is. Oh, he baited it. He baited it. Gotcha, beta, jabroni. Yeah, why'd you keep showing you the offensive defense? Oh, I thought the, uh, the break hand was gonna mess him up, but he, he was waiting nope. to convert off of it. Oh, true Kimberly. Specialist. I thought that was gonna be it. Oh, big punish on the slide. What a risk. Oh, gets the counter hit on wake up. Catch them backing up. Man. Great decisions here from YJK. Oh, but just as I say that, it gets hit in the open. No punish on a sweep while scissor kick. Okay. Please, the mental stack these guys are going through right now. So many mix ups, so many counters. A lot of stagger pressure comes along you right now. With neutral jump, looking for something. Oh, Jeff just gets right out of the corner with that one. President Obebe lets him rip and gets out of the corner. Yeah. 
Oh, what a nice trade combo. Oh, doesn't get the full conversion. YJK has a chance here. He's really trying to save that meter. Might regret it after this. Go for three. Do I hear three? Nope. Get the overhead, though. And you DI back. I love that. Oh, he didn't follow. Oh. YJK with the drop. The costly drop. Oh, man. It's a little, little, little jitters there, you know? Like, oh, this is the whole DI combo. It happens to the best of us. We're talking about winner's finals here. You just gotta shake it off now. Oh, did oh. he bait it? Wow. Did get baited. He still gets the boost, but the boost is a lot of damage. It's not so bad for Jeff, actually. Uh, um, he burnt out there. He still fight back. Drive reversal, maybe? Just get him off? Yeah, but Bison doesn't care if he's burned out. He's still gonna super kick to win. And he's still gonna hit that level 3. No. Doesn't quite kill, though. And he's burnt out. He gets the damage here. To the this is like one check away though. Oh, he's teched. Minus two? What are you gonna do? Damn, he just pressed the button. Respect, a lot of it. Coming from YJK. Overhead in the overhead. Oh, but that's all it was. Just one little check. The defensive monkey was just like showing there. Like all those decisions. So much patience though. And so much patience from YJK to still manage to bait several of those supers out. Yeah, that was insanity. That is, that takes a mental. That is a mental stack and a level of patience. I think we all aspire to reach at some point. Yeah, definitely the mental patience is also just understanding like the the like the risk reward and the counterplay, right? Like they were adapting to each other, right? So you saw yeah. um, Mongi just like throwing out the supers, but testing it later on in the set just to not commit again to it, right? Just to see. Yeah. Like, so patient. You yeah. always got to guess, even when you're offense on defense. Yeah, even in the, the, this is when you see the me, the meta develop in between two different players. Especially, we're, we're here at Guildhouse. We see a lot of people come out regularly, and there's a lot of things. It's like, oh, I would never do this online against someone because I, you know, doesn't really work. But then you know, like, oh, but that guy, he don't like that move. I'm gonna use it against him. Yeah, you so gotta, you gotta get, get a feel out for those players, right? Yeah, you get the interpersonal meta, especially if people come out to locals all the time. And especially here at Guildhouse, we see a lot of regulars all the time, and there's metas for each different person. And what's really bad is when you get a bunch of players playing the same character, and each of them has a different meta for how they play that character. That gets confusing as hell, real quick. Well, yeah, you gotta, you really gotta like compartmentalize, right? Your thoughts. You're, you're playing the player, or you're playing the game, uh, the character, right? And see, then there's then there's people like me, where I'm one of like two DJs that comes out regularly. So you only gotta memorize two metas for us. You and uh, Lateralis. Yep. Okay. Me and Lateralis. Yeah. There, yeah, there are, there the are, there are, there are more DJs. I have seen a few out here. I just, I, I don't see them lately. I don't know their names yet. You're right, you're right. The other DJ that I see a lot of is Kuro Kiba, but he has, he's not here today. Um, yeah. Um, and we, we, I have seen more DJs showing up. I wish they would talk to me more because I want to compare notes. So if any of you, if any of the other DJs are watching the stream, talk to me. I need, I want to compare notes. I need to, I need to get the details. Get some weird shenanigans going, like double level ones. Yeah. Dude, you're, um, you're blowing me up with the, uh, in our match, you, you were doing a lot of the follow-ups on the Sways, and I was just like, dude, no one does these. <laughs> it's Well, the thing about Sway is Sway in Season 1 was broken because it was so plus on a lot of things, especially the low Sway. Yeah. Sway Season 2 got nerfed a little bit. Yeah. It wasn't a major nerf, but it did take away a lot of the follow-up potential. There's still follow-up potential there, but it's not nearly as oppressive as it used to be. So a lot of DJs have kind of moved away from it. But I've, all, I've kind of learned that, you know, throwing random Sways in there does mix them up, especially if someone likes to push buttons. Yeah, if you're, if you're using the way like you like to use it for DJ, right, it's the, um, what do you call it, like, the, you're not used to seeing it because it's more of a commitment, right? So it's yeah. like you're expecting, because I'm at the rank where a lot of people play very reserved in a lot of spots, right? And so when you play that and that type of MR, like, like you don't see the commitment, like, counter option. Right, right, you, don't, you don't see people commit, like, especially, so if they get, especially if they get a block string and they're immediately going to sway. You don't see a lot, and especially not low MR. And then when someone busts out during tournament, you're like, what is this, man? What am I getting hit by? What is this, DJ? <laughs> this, you're not used to it, man. Right? And then, like, you know, you could think, like, oh, you could have DI'd that. It's like, yeah, but I'm not looking to DI anything right now in this spot. And here's the downside, though. If I empty Sway and you DI, I can DI back. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> and that was the thing. Mental and, stack, and let's then go. And the empty Sways didn't come out until later. <laughs> like, way later. I, I, hey, I empty Sway when you make me empty Sway. If you're not going to respect my. If you're, if you're just going to let me Sway on you, I'm not going to empty Sway because that's like, true. Hey, Sway's winning. And that's our adaptation, right? Because I was like, I think I, I think I did eventually catch on and DI'd one of them, right? And you did, you did DI one, it made me very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, bro. Can't let you get. Can't we'll let these DJs get away with these free Sways, bro. Yeah, I know. It, it's rough, man. That's a lot of damage. It does, it does. Especially like a nice little follow up or a punish counter on it. And a lot of mental damage, too, man. So I think we're uh, coming up on loser semifinals. All right, I think I think I see a tree whiz. Tree whiz, and then was it was. Uh, I can't tell. It's far away. And Mix of City won that match, right? The other one. 
So Tree Lewis versus Mix City coming up if I'm not so Let's go for the source of truth because I'm sorry. Versus Pink DS Light, I, yes. I was thinking of Pink DS Light and I said Mix Up City's name. Oh man. That messed me up so bad. Okay. So <laughs> no, it's all good. It happens to the best of us. That's the reason why I have the source of truth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, looks like we're taking quick intermission. Lovely. <laughs> Alright. We'll see you guys soon. So Oh. Oh, yeah. So, like, I was like. And we are snapping back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, we're back with Pink DS Light and Tree Wiz. As always, the host, Doki Doki FTR and Waterboy, we're going to be keeping you company here and trying to give you the play by play and the best action commentary you've ever seen. Yeah, let's do it, man. Yo, that, you got me with the gravity. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing the Parappa beanie. Look, I can't wear the Parappa beanie and not drop a few bars every now and again. No, that's good, man. I respect that. <laughs> the funny thing is, I got a black one, too. The proper beanie? Yeah, I got a black one in my bag, actually. You, I know you favor the orange one, because I see that orange beanie whenever I come out to Aventura, and the, I'm just like, yo, this is the guy. Oh, thing oh, is, just I, I, I usually wear the orange one. I do have the, the black one's new. Okay. And But the problem is it's a little small, so there's quite a nice orange one, so. Yeah. Oh, well. People will still get the joke. As long as there's a frog on it, people get it. But forget frogging. Let's get hopping into this next round. We got Kimberly versus E Honda. We've seen a lot of Kimberlies today. We have a lot of strong Kimberlies. This is why I have nightmares about Kimberly. Yeah. This, uh, oh, gets the poke. First conversion. Already in the corner. That's what she does. The worst, nice. about, the worst about Kimberly is when they do that backhand animation. That is exactly at the wrong height. That is that is a painful height. What do you mean the backhand animation? Uh, she does a little double slap. That is that is. Uh, is it the one they used to get to get the punish counter on like with throws? Let's put this When you see it next time, you'll see that she's basically hitting a speed back. Yeah, call it out. I'm just I'm just not sure what I'm talking about. Both starting off really That patient. one. That hit right there. Okay. Got yeah, a little, little slap. That is that is exactly the most painful height. Ooh, Oh, gets out of the corner with that. Nice. What is this chaos? 
Everyone is jumping. A lot of crazy decisions here coming from uh, both players, I would say, man. But, you know, TreeWiz gets the better of it in the first round. Maybe that's the strat. Hey, they can't know what I'm doing if I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Talk about that, right? Chaos, chaos. Ha. Oh, nice jump. And you get planted. What are we going for? Oh, that thing is that thing scares me because it's such a fake. Because you think, oh, I'm gonna fade to grab, and if it catches you, it's still in the air. Is it is it safe if they don't ex it? I have no idea. I wonder. That's actually a good question. We gotta get back in the lab and figure that one out. Tree was definitely respecting it, so I'm, I'm assuming it is. Oh, so oh, so. It's going to be painful. I think this is going to be yep, spending the gauge. We're going to tie this up at one round apiece. What do here? A true is sitting on a lot of meter here. And this is Honda. It's going to hurt. But yeah. He gets like just backing up a little bit, trying to stay reactive. And now he finds off and goes in. Not this time. No way. Nice, there you are. Okay, Tree was teching a lot here. Praising the sun. Good air to air. Oh, big punish on the slide here. Oh, he did burn himself out for this. I don't know if he's want to spend it. Yeah, he doesn't want to spend it. He wants to keep the option open just in case he uh, de eyes him. Ooh, misses the command throw. This is going to hurt. We're gonna see level three here. We, we might. Oh no, no level three. Oh, what a grab from Tree Wiz. Keep him in. And another command throw. A command grab. And out of burnout. Oh, he blocked that. He would have got hit by the throw. And now Kimberly's in burnout. This is gonna be interesting. Checks the teleport. Are we gonna see the ring of fire? The ring of fire. Yeah, down, he's down, down, he's down, down in a burning yeah, ring of fire. <laughs> <laughs> and throws him on the ground. Right out the circle. Yep. Hey, uh, so you said you were having trouble tr trouble with the Kimberly matchup, right? Or like, you just, it's tough, right? I'm not sure if it's trouble with the matchup or just the fact that the Kimberleys we have around here are all extremely good. Let me tell somebody, like everybody on stream who's listening, and like something I learned like not too long ago, but it would help you in the matchup. Did you guys know the elbow is minus three? I did not know that. But then again, I also don't know much no, things about the plus or minus. I go by feel. Right. So, but if they do the elbow on you, it's your turn. And no, normally jump ins are plus for the, you know, the, the Kimberly, right? Or like the player doing the jump in. It's just like that move. And so like you see them pressing after that. That's fake. Write that down. Write that down. Yes. Definitely want to write that down, man. Don't let these Kimberly's like, get away Ooh, with shit like that. The double dip, but slam. The double dip, oh, show slam -o. Dang. That's a punishing way to lose the map. You basically just watch yourself get pancaked. Yeah. I think this light's been having uh, tree wizards. At three. Here. We're going to see four. Oh, I was hoping for four. But tree wizards managed to fight out and close out these rounds. Trying to keep him in the corner now. Go, oh, Soy. Good thing is, Truist hasn't realized I'm up here. He hasn't stared at the camera once. He's locked in, bro. Perfect parry. Back in the corner. No level 3, though. I, that surprised me. I thought we'd see a level 3 there. Oh, what a drop. I'm not sure what he went for there. Oh, there it is. There's a level 2. Nice. I, I was trying to get him you gotta close out the round. You gotta get some momentum going when you're down. Yeah. That was a terrifying move. She comes down to your neck. Like just ah. Not as terrifying as your bicep. That's true. See, that's a minus three, right? That's my, that's my three. I, need to, I need to take a lot of notes of that. Yeah. No, it's just, just like the one thing that bothered me, because I would be getting blown up by that. Not knowing to press after. Or just take my turn better. You know, maybe grab it. And then the regular jump ins are coming out. Is with the anti air headbutt. Oh, we tripping the drive gauge here. Burnout. Oh, gets a hit. Follow up goes for burnout. Oh, it doesn't block it. It's not burnout at least, so this might be better. There's level three. I lied. He had level three. I didn't even think about that. 
and this is going to be a burned out pink DS light in a bad situation. Oh, fakes it up. Oh, bait the grab with the double jump. Just jump off the corner. Another bait. Oh, catches him jumping, letting him slip. All committed to the hands, and she got the wake up. If you think okay. you got hands, you're going to catch these hands. Oh, and he gets the teleport mix up. Woo! Kimberly, DS Light's what? fighting it out. <laughs> you ain't seen the last of me. We're going to keep this going. Bringing it to a two out of three now. Nice overhead to start the round. You're just going to block, huh? Such a cheeky overhead, too. It's so fast. Yeah, especially when you're not looking for it. In the neutral, who's looking for it like that? You're looking for green, not yellow. Oh, nice back dash. True is so good at placing those back dashes. Man. And I, I think a lot of that has to do with Honda, right? Because his uh, OD reversal, but, uh, headbutt, you know, you can throw it, right? So the back dash becomes like part of the oh. <laughs> Nice. Now you're going to give him a chance to do the command throw mix up there. Oh, nice punish counter. Oh, just goes for a grab follow. -up. Okay. Keep him in the corner. True is holding charge, sneaking in forward with that punch. Oh, the charge. Good cross up on that. Yeah. I think DS Light has some, something to say. Perfect parry. Oh, this is the conversion. Unfortunate and big punish counter. This could be the round. He's gonna build the meter. Yep. Just built it. Wow, gonna build light. it, gonna spend it. Let's go. Solid. Solid stuff here. Yo, and now he takes the lead in the set. Oh man, I know what Tree was thinking. He was like, man, if I win this, I have to find another Kimberly. Kimberly's for days. Oh. That's why I said. That's why I'm not sure if I have an issue with Kimberly or if I just have an issue with like a bunch of good players around here being Kimberly players. A, a lot of it is the players. But definitely, you know, if there's stuff in the matchup that they're getting away with, you know, you will get knowledge check. Right? Oh yeah. A lot of players will like knowledge check. Man, corner to corner, bro. <laughs> corner to corner. This is probably gonna be a level two coming out. Uh huh. Yep. Called it. I think he's like feeling himself right now, man. That was good. A lot of momentum on that. He just kept going. Dang, that's two. I think, if I remember correctly, Pinky is like Divi Triwiz a couple weeks ago. This is a run back. Uh, like, the more Kimberly you gotta worry about. Oh, he just got hit by the elbow. <laughs> Her overhead. Yeah, Honda's gotta Ooh, take all this. No, he doesn't. It. He guesses. Man, what a god needs to jump. Oh, gets the jump oh. in. Deep. Oh. How many time he guess, guesses you gotta make? Yeah, but Drew is dropping these conversions, unfortunately. Okay, it's a headbutt trade. Goes for the hands. We try to close it out here. Sneaky gets the charge. And he holds the charge, you know. Oh, collapse him. Nice. All right, Drew is fighting back now. Checking dry brushes. There we go. Good defense from Drew is. What you got, Pink DS Light? How are you going to fight back? You going to let me tie it up? Safe approaches. Okay. And neither oh, one wants to make a bad move here. There's too much at stake, too many things that can go wrong. Especially because Pink DS Light is one game away from, take, from uh, moving on and knocking out Tree Wiz. Pay really close attention to when Tree Wiz walks forward. That's all you need to know. He hasn't walked forward at all yet. He ho he's oh, holding that charge. Oh, it! Not fucking get level 3 just yet. One more combo. Ooh, what a mix! Level three. Jump. Oh this my god, he knows again. he wants to jump through it. Yeah. Oh, we're seeing the OG, OG Honda Strat. We're just going to see butt slams for days. Dang, dude. And Tree was, dude, so solid. He, he made Pink DS like gamble with that that slide. That what was that? Three quarters screen? That, and he just punished it. Clean, clean Tree Wiz come back here. And then I believe that ties up the set 2 2. Yeah, right? that's, it's 2 2 now. Last they're playing for, these for, they're two. playing for the entire enchilada, all the chips. Dang and it, now I'm hungry. And then, dude, the benefit of having other strong Kimberly's, Jeff just waiting, like, getting the down line. All right, don't do this against them, don't do that against them. <laughs> it's not the backfire, too, though, because you play two different Kimberly's that are doing two different strategies, you start waiting for the wrong things. Exactly. Which is why I feel bad for everyone that has to play like me and Lateralis back to back, because we play two completely different DJs. You know, but these guys, for sure, they, they know who to adjust to the player. They're, they're aware. You gotta be. You don't get top three at these. Not, right? I'm not making that kind of, like, clear. But how many other places can you go where you're going to see this many Kimberly's playing for the top spots? Drew is being so passive, taking all these throws, taking all the mix right now. Not even fighting back, unfortunately, for that one. It's looking really bad here for Drew is. Well, that's going to be set point. 
Whoa, okay, he wasn't ready for that. He didn't know he was going to catch I wasn't ready for that. I don't even know what the heck that was. <laughs> oh, punish the blueberry. That's a punish counter. The blueberry. <laughs> yeah, of course the blueberry, because a big juicy throw if they do it. Big juicy. Oh, man, I got you. I mean, we got, we got like, a lot of different berries, man. We got strawberries. We got whatever green berries are. Oh. Now, blueberries are the ones that get punished the most, though. Oh, and he, he back there. Okay. So Pinky Slide might, might be able to not quite get the corner to corner. Goes to the throw. I'm going to get something going here. Might not even need a last round. He was really being patient right now. Oh, that might do it, though. Nope. Oh, and out. there he is. Burns himself off. Praise the sun. What do we got? See, look at this. Not walking forward. Oh, oh drops it. Oh, uh, wow. Drops drops all around. A lot of pressure here. Oh, and the gets the he better fights of it. it out. He fights it out. We're staying alive. We're going to the final round. Never give up, guys. Ooh. Never give up. You got to believe. Did you see how much Pink DS Light is eating on a drive gauge with these uh, headbutts? So much drive gauge already lost. Ooh, okay. Counter hits. True is trying to get a good little greedy after that. Well, that's a punish counter. Punish the blueberry. Nice counter, folks. Fighting out of the corner. There we go. Raising the sun. He just likes to hold it down. Jumps, unfortunately, and then he gets the flex slam for it. Okay. So no conversion here from Pink DS Light. True is sitting on a lot of meter. Just brings him into kill range. Down. He's going to try to bring him into kill range and look for the kill. Pink DS Light's just trying to hold it down, not trying to do anything too crazy to, to get hit by this big damage from Honda. Very patient game here, waiting it out. What are we going to do, full screen? He hasn't stepped forward yet. He's got that charge. Puts himself in the corner. What's going to be? Oh, he gets oh, a hit. That might do it. Is that? That's your full combo. Can't drop it. Cannot drop it. Ring of fire. He, he, it was a jab starter. I don't think this is going to kill at all. It's not going to kill good. But it's going to put like him within throw range. So we're going to force you to guess right now. What are you going to do, Pink DS Light? Oh, it doesn't check the drive rush. Too much on your stack right now. This is for game. Oh, he oh no. That's a critical art, too. This, this is going to kill. I'm just saying it now because. I'm tired of being wrong. I want to be right. You're wrong, wrong, wrong again. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Tree oh, always pulls wrong. it out. <laughs> you jinxed it. Bro. It's a caster bro, bro, curse. Bro, bro. You jinxed it. What is wrong with me? I can't do. I cannot calculate Kimberly damage. I, I need to take you to Vegas and I need to put bets on the opposite of whatever you bet on. Oh, bro. That was, that was, that, <laughs> That's that the play is, right that now. That is a working strategy to bet opposite against me because um, I'm not a winner in Vegas, man. No, oh, neither am I. But hey, if we bet opposites, one of us has to win. I'm a, I was a double loser at Vegas, man. Lost in pools. That was awesome. Oh, that, tables, was so, that was so intense. <laughs> that was. Dude, I was. <laughs> and this is, the, this is the best part. Tree was just got done pulling out that come from behind victory to, oh, man, to look, take it away look and recovering. upset Pink DS Light. And what does he get? Does he get a reprieve? Does he get a break from the madness that is the Kimberly matchup? No. He gets a YJK. He gets to do it again in 4K. Let's go. I don't know, man. I'm looking at his face right now. He looks uh, he looks fine, man. He, he, it looks like he's he's just like, he's probably going to use that as energy to like, oh, man, I could take all these Kimberly players on, you know? Oh, True is definitely feeling it right now because he, he took that from behind. He was behind in that, and he played it out, pulled it back, and even that last round, he was playing off his back foot that entire time. But he was so patient, waited out everything, and that, that last headbutt to seal the deal was beautiful. That was amazing. Yeah, and now we get to see how he fights another Kimberly. Will he weather the Kimberly storm? For sure, man. And then I, I would say, man, this is completely different in terms of like how they like to play. Uh, just YJK really favors that overhead just to just to mix you up, just to like make you realize you can't really just walk, like block. Oh yeah, and here's the fun part. No matter who wins, this is gonna be a run back against Monkey Senior because both these guys were sent to the loser's bracket by the man himself. So the true top three right here, playing it out for the placing. Nice punish. Woo. Yeah, he got that download. Oh, first wham, man throw on the first mix up. Yo, he is definitely feeling himself. Praising the sun, yeah, he's praising the sun. He's feeling good about everything right now. Watch K already gets the first overhead, backs off a little bit. Hoping Honda can miss something. Here's the downside. Honda has just got down third. True has just got down playing. He's already warmed up. Watch K got iced a little bit, so we gotta see if that's gonna be a problem. Ooh, the command butt slam. It's definitely for the player's benefit, right? You don't want to play right after losing like that in the finals. And True is gets the better of the trade and pulls out the round. 
There's something we said though, there's the, there's the nerves in the fact you keep going, especially after a fight like that. But conversely, you got someone that hasn't played for a while, so they're a little bit iced out. Uh, I think this guy's always ready, if I want to say. Nice punch. Face that throw. Throws him again. One more. Oh, counter hit. What do you press? What do you press there again? True is picking bad defensive options here. Could be trying to throw tech a little too early. Could be trying to jab out. But this is what happens when you're Honda, right? You just get blown up. Your defensive options. Are you gonna risk the meter here? Not worth it. Let's save it for round three. Let's get that. Let's get that ring of fire. And that's that's a perfect KO too. That's gonna that's a mental stack damage right there. Praising the sun. You gotta think positive, man. Hey, he got a perfect, which means he built the least amount of meter he could have done to win. I don't know. <laughs> Well, see, so perfect parries are good for you, bad for the person that, that gets perfect hit. It's a mental stack issue. Ooh, get some bomb. Okay, we're, gonna see, we're gonna see level three here. Oh, oh he drops, drops it. it. He's gonna take that combo off the floor and try to salvage it. He salvages it with a throw. Why'd you care with the recovery? The adaptation, the download, just giving all the offense. Everything, every decision working out right now. Nice sometimes, elbow. Sometimes Gets everything straight. comes up Millhouse, what can I say? <laughs> sometimes it does. Oh, punish the, the juicy blueberry. Especially because in season two, you actually get more punished for those throws than before. True, with a big, big face trap hit. <laughs> throws him anyway. Yeet! And this is when it's so dangerous to be against Honda because there's so many mix-up options. Sometimes the only, the only correct answer is a level one. Yeah, he guessed right there. That's good. Oh, he checks the thing over, but doesn't get the conversion. Oh, the Blueberry does not get punished that time. Nice check on the teleport. Gonna try to close it out. I don't know what he's going for that. I don't know if he's going for a reset or if he's dropping the combo, but it's unfortunate. Uncharacteristic for Trio is to drop combos. Maybe it is a reset. No, he's going for the bait. The problem is he's backing up and he's backing out of the way. Yeah, the walk back, Kimberly with the fastest, one of the fastest back walk speeds in the game, I believe. If not the fastest. Definitely fastest when she's level three. Oh, another throw, punish to the juicy blueberry. Plus frames, pressure. The benefit of punish blueberry jumping. against Honda is because if Honda throws the blueberry, you're definitely getting that, that juice is fresh squeeze. <laughs> this is what you get to deal with when they blew from me, all the, all the jokes and the puns. YJK gets to jump out of the corner, gets to cross up on him. True is fighting out now. Another blueberry gets punished. Nice backdash from Tree Wiz. Are we gonna see it spent? Yep, gonna Double spend I'm gonna make sure he gets it. That was awful. Boom! Burned himself out, he couldn't extend it anymore. Mate, burned two bars, because level one might not have cut it. I, I agree, He's gotta be safe on that one. He still has one bar to play with. Definitely wanna take the round. We'll probably get another level two out of this too, before this is all said and done. Already checking there. Nice elbow, well spaced. Does he get any follow up? Okay. We're going for mix. Oh, we're backing off. YJK is really trying to see if he was committing to anything after that. Boom. Oh, he's looking for headbutt. I see, I see. Whoa, just an overhead in neutral. <laughs> True is gets hit. Okay. Overheads are sneaky, bro. Oh, nice check. Nice chase. Boom! Oh, the timing. That's one of the three. hardest things, because there's a slight delay before they come back down. If you don't get that timing right, you lose the game. And then when the tension's this high, and you're about to, like, the round's about to be closed out, like, your, your timing might get a little messed up, right? Sometimes all it takes is just one little slip, and that's it. You had the right answer, but you did a little too early. Yep. A little too antsy. That's all you were had the right answer, too. Oh, another blueberry gets squeezed. Woo! What do you call it when that happens? <laughs> you try uh, to blueberry and you just get crossed up on, on the recovery. <laughs> blueberry just got flattened, bro. <laughs> it's like he's got kind of stomped. True is a lot of pressure here on YJK. Text the throw again. Go check on the teleport trades. Get the better of the trade. True is might be able to close this out. We're gonna level two. Oh no, we're just going for uh, the sun. Oh, what a mix! Same side, I got hit. Incredible off the elbow. Waiting for the 
Rook. It's gonna come in eventually. Nice check from nice, Tree Wiz. Nice, yes, gets the jab with the big meaty palms to put an emphasis on that round victory. Yeah, understanding right there. Finding out, finding that gap. Okay, hey, YJK with the counter sweep. Oh, we got the hands up. That's kind of the downfall of Kimberly's elbow. Is it misses if you're out if you're outside of a range. It's very close range. Kimberly is YJK burned himself out. This is not a good situation to be in, especially against the Honda that's got all the speeder. Yeah, especially. Yeah. Did he bait it? Three. Did he bait it? No. Oh, he committed. That yeah. caught pushing buttons. I think that's fine there. All right, he's up around. Here's the thing. That's also gonna be a YJK almost completely out of burnout. Oh, I was expecting a drive reversal. Nice from True List to show a wake up jab. So scary. You see, playing the lead, right? YJK has got to really find a spot here. Oh, he's backing off. He's, he, he's looking for a, a, butt, a headbutt to, to jump out of. He, he's, he's assuming he's going to do it right off that exchange. Oh, he gets the side oh, switch. The side switch. Got a level one. They're going to spend it. Nope. Drops the combo, but still gets a throw. I wonder if that's even a drop. He's done that like two or three times now. It, it might be like a uh, frame kill, you know, off a setup he has. That's true. It could be. I don't know Kimberly really enough to know for sure. Because if you were to press a button, which Tree Wiz is maybe making the right call here and just not, you know, not committing to anything. It's hard to tell. You know, if I see a drop, I'm mashing. But that's just, you know, that's just a fly I'm not in this uh, top, top three, you know? <laughs> yep. That's overhead. Oh, you have Tree Wiz in the corner. Fighting out. Okay, and avoids and the bomb with that and gets the slam. Great decisions from True Wiz. Oh, he gets swept here. Blocks the overhead. Nice. Watch you keeping up the pressure and it opens them up. Level That's three here. Level three has to be. Yep, there she be. And clutches this out when it matters the most for the pin to close out the round. This stuff to YJK right now. Bringing it to 2 1 here. The loser's final. True is he's thinking. Uh, oh man. no, he knows I'm here. <laughs> he's looking at my soul there for a second. He's trying to steal. Oh, trying man. to steal my soul. Not again. I like the showmanship, bro. <laughs> I got a lot of emotion out of that. You know, I was like, oh, I, I know what he's thinking. He's like, hmm, he's scheming, huh? <laughs> uh, Why JK getting this hit? Back him off. It gets the punish counter on that. True is with the back throw. Ooh, nice. Side switch. Oh, immediate. The double wham, bam, sumo slam. Let's go. Nice with punish Pop. to close out this round. Again, oh. elbow having a real hard time getting the time to those elbow checks. Ooh, gets the clap, gets the big meaty palms on it. Ooh. Oh, gets it close that time. What a perfect parry in this situation. And this, this is gonna hurt. Is, I don't think he's gonna do it. Cause, wow, okay, no, he's wrong. doing it. Oh, he's going for the follow-up. Yep, another wham, bam, sumo slam to take the game and tie it up. We're moving on to game five. And this is what you love to see when you get the top three and it's all going to game five because they are that close. Man, Kimberly just exploded that last game. That was crazy. That's a downside. Kimberly does not have the best answers, especially not to a wham, bam, double dip, sumo slam. Boom! Oh, oh there's the elbow there working out finally. Finally got the download. Took took four games. We got the download now. All right, Trios, what you got? Backing off. Oh, gets the counter poke. YJK fighting out. Overhead. That sneaky overhead keeps on showing up, and there's the drive impact. What a call out. Oh, he burned all his meter for this, but he has to go for it. No, it wouldn't have killed. It's a good decision. He's still another two rounds left, possibly. Oh, oh but he's just waiting. Nice. The timing has been downloaded. The right. timing has been downloaded. The true is, you can't get these butt slams in for free anymore. You really gotta, maybe not use it anymore. Why you can't make you hesitate. Oh, the shimmy. All those throws that he was teching earlier. Why'd you keep cashing out, man? Mental stack is over. This mental stack's growing. Okay, OD headbutt to get out. He can do something here. Tree Wiz gets some plus frames. He goes for command throw. Gets the wham bam sumo slam. Showing you the Holland is a grappler. Oh, plus frames in the, the trade. Tree Wiz gets better of it right now. True Wiz almost burnt out here. Nice. Blocks the slide. 
Why'd you pay a risky slide there? That was a lot of meter for Kimberly, but I don't think she can kill yet off the hit. Oh! Okay. I don't know, this is gonna be a big cash out. Uh, he did cash out, he committed. It is CA, but it, that, oh, yeah, that, that's it. it. That's yeah, it. they're saying it's a kill. They're, they're, yeah, that's it, that's it. I had, to, I, had to, I, had to, I had to hesitate on that because you bro, said it was going to kill you I, I, I said time it, so I, I said it so early that like I was still wrong. You know what I mean? Like I was trying not to curse myself later, and I cursed myself early. <laughs> oh, so that's going to be YJK versus Mongi Sr. in the grand finals. And this is where things get fun because YJK it now has to win basically two full sets, two first to threes. Yeah. One will not do it. To get the run back has to win one first to three and then has to win another one to actually come out of this on top. And that is a mountain to climb, especially against someone like Mongi Sr. who is so good at adjusting, that's so good at just, you know, staying calm, staying patient, and just finding ways to get in, make you regret every decision you've ever made leading up to that point in your life, and then punish you, punishing you for having the audacity to push a button. Yeah, man. <laughs> so these guys, right, they're here at this level, they, they really, both of them, really be picking their spots. And then, like, sometimes it just feels like Mongi picks the better one. Oh, he's yeah. just there. He's just there. He's ready. He's got the answer. And sometimes it's like, oh, it's my turn to push a button. Nope. Yeah. And even when he gets hit, usually from the life lead that he takes earlier, it, it's like it's so hard to really be confident in your offense. You know. But you have to keep it going. You got to keep. You can't let the way they're playing change your game completely. Obviously, you got to adapt. But like, you you cannot you cannot second guess yourself on your decisions. And oh, I think that's sure. what he does. Just the way he decides. It's like. Now you're slower. Now, like that's where he really shines. Where he just plays this really so strong, patient, fundamental game. Oh yeah. Well, we're talking about two players of like I would say they're they're just I, I don't I don't know who has the winning record between these two because I lose both of them so much and I don't pay attention like that. But like I would I'd imagine like it's close, but I can't well, say for sure. For what it's worth, I've lost more to Mongi Senior. For what? Because I because pl I played him more. Okay. <laughs> I, I have never won off either of these two. Oh, man. But for what it's worth, I've lost more to Mongi Sr. than I have to YJK so far. I get blown up by both of them, man. This is this, These are the guys. Oh, yeah. I always expect them minimum top eight at these ones, right? You know? oh, yeah, if they show up, you expect them to be at, honestly, I'd say anything lower than top five is shocking. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying like uh, any local, right? But especially, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And here we go. We get to see more Kimberly action. Have you all seen enough Kimberly today? I haven't. We love her. She, she, that's wifey right there. Oh, he blocks the overhead. You, you gotta guess for that. You cannot Ooh. react to that overhead, man. Excellent cycle crusher to punish that flip. These well spaced scissor kicks. Hard to punish. Gets the mine on already. Another pizza's mine. Here. Blows it up already. So I don't know what he actually says there, but every time he does that, I hear pizza's here. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't stop hearing it now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Once, once you've heard him say pizza's here, it doesn't matter what he's actually saying. You hear pizza's here. Can we get a skin for uh, Bison that's just a pizza delivery guy? Uh, that'd be too corny, man. That'd be so weird. I don't even care. That'd be worth it. Like he just like he was homeless and then he finally got a job. Like, I don't. I don't. Even, I don't even play Bison. I would buy that skin. You know what I mean? We, we got like um, we got zombie bison right now. And then he, when he gets a job, he's using it. <laughs> Halloween edition, bro. It's Halloween costume. It's nice. almost Halloween. Come on, what like, happened? I like the throw option from Jeff there. Woo! I like the throw option from Moggy there though. Even better. Ooh, walk up and try to get something going. Okay, he did inch forward, so they shuffle. I feel like he's looking for a scissor kick. Yep. It's so hard to punish even when you're looking for it. Nice the mine. Oh, blown up. Plus frames. Plus frames again. So hard to counter fucking bison here. Oh, oh. Perry's on the jump back. Oh, safe jump though. What do we got? Oh, big commitment. I, I, I think he went for super there. So, so Monkey had the right read either way. I think he just dropped the super. I'm not exactly sure what that input is, but that was a fact of minute working to just go for that. And that is the first notch in Mongi Sr.'s belt, and that is not what YJK wanted to do with, because he's already got to win six in order to take this away, and now one of his three lives is gone. Yeah, it's going to be a tough, tough, tough hill to climb right now. 
Nice whiff punish. Oh, oh grab him out of it again. Not meaty enough. Okay, driver slide. More, more, more pressure. Jeez, that overhead is doing so much work today for Kimberly. You got the mind. You got to take another throw. Glad he did. You're rewarded. Nice jump. So Big. much patience. This could be what he needs to get this back. Gets the low, okay. One more mix. Jumps to cycle pressure, but gets out of the corner though, so that's you know, worth it. Definitely worth it. Oh, but he gets the hit. Conversion here for YGK, nice. All right, YGK showing that he's got some fight in him. Overhead hit this time. That thing comes out so fast too. How do you even react to that? Just gotta know that it's one of her options and guess, man. Or I don't know, man. A lot of coffee. Yeah, nice walk back, gets the whip on the throw. And YJK making all these great moves right now. Break hands up. Any conversion off that. Oh, he just goes for the reset. Goes for the overhead, gets that. It's gonna be level three. I think that's gonna be the game. Yeah. I'm just gonna stop talking when we get close because like I've been wrong so many times. <laughs> no, I think this one's a safe bet. This one's a safe bet. <laughs> Even I'm so traumatized by my own bad calls. I'm just like, mm, you know what? It looks like he has a tip of health left in here, level three, and it's like still going. But yeah, I don't, know, I don't know anymore, man. The health was calculated, but damn, we suck at that. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm the worst, bro. Does it? On today's episode of Does It Kill? Uh, great throw, by the way. I like this pressure from Mongi. Very buttons, right? Focus. Pressing. Nice conversion. Gets the mine here. I'm a pressing. I dare you to press across this line. I don't often see Bison's like popping the mine twice, so I don't really see follow-ups after that. I'm curious to what uh, Mongi's going for there. Whoa. <laughs> Just yeah. swinging. Step in, I dare you. It dares you to step across this line. Oh, he burns out. Uh, I didn't get the reference, sorry, man. <laughs> that's, Bugs, that's Bugs Bunny, my dude. Step across this line. It dares you to step across this line. Okay, rabbit. I'm a stepping. <laughs> oh, man. You got Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah, I got Looney Tunes. I got Looney Tunes. I've done SpongeBob so far. Last time I was on stream, I had this Oliver Twist. Nice, why'd you pay coming back here? Round two. Still got a few more games, but it's, he's looking really solid right now. ijk has got the download, he's looking good, he's looking fine. Yeah, I'm really feeling YJK for this reset at least. Nice counter hit. Punch mashing, huh? Are you mashing again? I dare you to press a button. I and dare you. He blocks the overhead. Nice. Take turns. Okay, we burn this off a lot, but we're out of the corner. We're gonna level three. That's good, that's making some meter back as we get some of the pressure off. But Kimberly still has level three though. She still has quite a bit of meter, that's still three bars. Yeah, and a good amount of drive gauge to uh, keep uh, Mongi honest here. Oh, but we're just playing footsies here and this is where he wins. Oh, and he came back. Oh, oh no, no follow up there. Oh, burn himself out again. Interesting. Oh, same side. Ooh, that's gonna do it. YJK is feeling the run back. He's one game away from running and running back. Here we go. So calm, I'm so focused, man. Nice scissor kick, Connor hit. We get the conversion. Monkey says, no, we're not going for a run back. Monkey says, I want the whole thing. I want that pot, and I don't want to work extra for it. Oh, Ooh. the whip throw, the little walk back. Monkey making all the right defensive options here. All right, we're going in. We might burn ourselves up again because I'm it's watching Monkey do it a lot. And, uh, I just feel like he's going to do it again. Well, Bison's also one of the characters that still that doesn't really feel the negative effects of burnout as much as others. Man, it's so it's close on a lot of his stuff that like he just really, it doesn't feel like he loses that much in burnout. Yeah, if you got if you got super reactions like this or just the willingness to buffer and, and commit, like yeah, burnout's not going to bother you too much, right? That's, I would say that's a more credit to Monkey than, than Bison, right? That's true, that's I, true. I think, I think every character just dies in burnout. Yeah. Outside of uh, Noah, Noah's Luke. <laughs> no, the Prodigy's Luke, yeah. Sorry. 
Nice read. Takes that scissor. Now we get to play the Kimberly Mixer in the corner. Oh, Wilton opens him up. All right, saving meter. Yes, I agree. We got another round here if you get, if you get this one. Oh, it doesn't check the teleport. Why JK gets the mix up for that? So much relentless pressure and a perfect KO to cap it off. Why JK is on set point? We are one win away from a run back. From a reset bracket. So close. Counter hit conversion again. Are we going for mine this time? No, we went for shimmy and it worked out. Oh, no conversion off that shimmy. Punish. Okay. Super plus. Very plus. So much pressure. Oh. Nice sweep. What do we get? Gets out of the corner. Very ambiguous, too. Doesn't punish the blueberry, but does still get some follow up on it. Oh, goes to the overhead. Burns out Mongi Sr. But they both have level threes, so this is far from over. Gets the check there. Oh, he committed. I heard a button. I heard yeah. a button. That's going to hurt. And Mongi Sr. says maybe we don't have to reset. I'm going to bring That's this to the last KO. Game. Yeah, no. Man. Drinking his water like I got this. Ooh. You know, YJK, like, damn, damn, he got, he got that one. But Everybody gets one. Walking in. Okay. Very patient play from Mongi here. Nice oh. grab out of that. I'm out of the mix up, not real. Oh, is that punishable? No, he just dashes in though. Monkey seems to be expecting it. Alright, Kimberly backing off after that. Run follow up. Nice header air. You get something going? Monkey Senior is so patient. No counter hit, so he wasn't ready to convert off that hit. But look at the key difference. It feels like Mongi Singh is always playing with the drive gate down, so it's not in burnout. And what a whip punish there. The spacing, the little walk back last second, he, he found that. He created that. And he gets in the corner. And the elbow from Mon Why Checks decayed? it. Oh, interrupts the Psycho Crusher. The Psycho Crusher has been Psycho Crushed. Dang, you never see that. Oh, what a punish with scissor kicks. Of course, they see because he's doing the cycle crusher. Cycle crusher from across the screen. All right. But burn out again. This is going to hurt. The teleport into the low. And he's burnt out, so it's hard to parry. That that mixed up so many people right now. That is a kill. That will kill, though. One last little check to do it. And YJK is once again one win away from sending it to the reset. Man, the footsies from YJK is like really good right now. It, it's so incredible. Looks like you take one wrong step and suddenly you're tripped. Punching in, he gets the elbow, oh, side switch, goes to the same side, he parries it though. Monty Sr., good defensive choice there. He's so much damage, so much corner carry, so much pressure. But for, this is a rare time. We have to see YJK be the one close to burnout. YJK trying to close this off with a reset. No anti no from Monkey Senior. No conversion off that. Why'd you kick us the counter pump? That's gonna hurt. Burned out though. Burned out. Save the meter. You still got another round potentially. Don't want to take. Don't want to risk it. You are burnt out though. No, I would. Is, I would. Why'd you kick? Why'd you kick and win this though from one good hit? Right, but he. It's gonna be a little bit harder because no, no easy confirm off without driver. See, he just went for the overhead. I'll do it. We're getting the run back. We are running it back. You didn't really feel like YJK like was super like comfortable in, in this in that set. But on the reset point, let's see what happens. Let's see if they, they do a mental or just playing it off again. And now we are in the grand finals. Both of them are sitting on loser's side. So that means this is a final. Whoever gets this wins the whole enchilada. Yeah, YJK is getting a lot of sweeps, and this is starting off all his offense. It just so many times things have been checked, it's like you start questioning, pushing the button, you move, you get smacked. Yeah, man. You don't move, you get smacked. Like walking forward, walking back, you just gotta stay still in this uh, guy. Walk it. Oh, the perfect parry with the cycle crit oh. hits more than once. It traded on the punish though, man. It's such a privilege. Okay, Bison low on health here. Doesn't matter though. Gets the hit with the scissor kicks. You gotta take that throw. It's so scary tech there. Could be the round, bro. Oh, and he gets the jump in. Oh, but no conversion. First round, and they're both low. One hit confirm is all it's gonna take. Oh, there's the overhead. That's gonna do it. Like I said, one hit confirm be all it takes. Spends a level one just to make sure. Starting off this reset on a good foot. YJK is trying to make, trying to pull this back. 
man, I think it's the styles too, man. The, the, the passivity of Longi style and the uh, aggressiveness of YGK. He just knew like the overhead would open him up there, man. Because that was a lot of meter you burned for that reset. Uh, that, that and there's up. just so much mental stack too, because Kimberly has some of the best overheads in the game. Some of the most sneaky ones, some of the fastest ones, and the mo most options to actually throw those overheads at you. All right. Nice perfect parry here from Mongi. We do? We get a mine, of course. Oh, what a read. Nice. Or was that the level one? And the throw on the shimmy for the punish counter. Nice check here. So much pain for both sides. Oh, that's big. Out. That's big punish. Oh, he drops, drops it. the punish. It's okay. Is he oh, going to cash no. out there? He has to. He burns out. It's too risky to keep him alive. Yeah, you can't afford to hold level three when you're this far behind. Yeah. Oh, that kills. I didn't want to say shit. You heard me, like, you heard yeah, nothing from me. I'm staring at the screen at this point, bro. Yeah, I, I was waiting for your prediction so I could predict the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like, like I said, bro, I've been wrong too many times already. Oh, what an anti here, bro. Okay, YJK. Let's go. Just doing different stuff, man. Giving them different looks. That's how you, cha that's how you change up the game. That's how you win. Oh, nice. Pizza's here. That's safe because he has the mine on him already. Perfect parry? Yeah, when you have a per, uh, perfect parry that from Bison, he's that spaced out. Well, I always whip the throw and like, you know, like great for YGK to recognize you can't throw there and just going for like a hit uh, combo follow up. Oh, punish the blueberry, squeezes that one out. The Dude, trade, the, the, the hit. On YGK right now. Holy yes, shit. You do, it's gotta be level three. You yeah. gotta, you gotta spend it. You gotta get the kill. All right, and man. this will kill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't think so, man. I don't. Oh, I'm wrong again, bro. <laughs> this, this is, this is my night right now. <laughs> oh man. So many of these perfect pixels. Nice check. Okay. Woo! Got a nice perfect parry. Oh, doesn't quite get the full check though. And that's gonna be a Kimberly in the corner. This is scary. Bison puts out a lot of damage right now. A lot of damage, so much pressure. Oh, oh he gets the side switch. Cross up the overhead. So much overhead pressure. Why do you guys been favoring these uh, off of block scissor kick? He likes to walk up and stick out that medium button. Kick. I wonder if Monkey's gonna pick up on that and just mash the button. Ooh, gets the switch on the teleport. Oh, oh. what a reaction! Unfortunately, teleport right into the, the line, the train, the pain train of Psycho Crusher. Even the grounded one, I'm pretty sure it's just so fast you're gonna punch that teleport. Every time. Oh, for sure. Nice. Tech. Oh, tech too hard on that one. This might be, this, I'm not gonna say anything. Actually. I'm, so, I'm gonna stop. I, I, I know this hurts a lot because I've seen so many bison combos, but I'm just gonna stop. I don't think this one kills. I know, but I'm just <laughs> wrong. I was right. I was. <laughs> I didn't think it would either, bro. <laughs> of course, you just, if you just said that out loud, of course it would have worked. I know, right? <laughs> uh, like it just would have, for some reason, like the handicap would have went up or something. And damage would just been, like yeah, the, the, the scaling would have like moved a decimal place over. Yeah. Now we are tied up at one game of peace in the reset. Oh, nice back throw. What do we got? And the blocked overhead. Oh, he gets the punish. Oh, what's the throw on a follow up? Walks up and throws, okay. That's new. Ooh, ooh, so much damage. Flex tape can't fix that, it's a lot of damage. Where are we going? We're chilling? We're chilling, we're waiting. No reason to commit right now. I'm obviously seeing you're in burnout and that's gonna hurt. Does have the life lead, but that in burnout that might just be not worth it. Is that plus one? Nice. Elbows? Checks just the elbows. Ooh, goes nice the side switch. But just trying to chip away at him. Trying to get as much out of it as he can before. Oh, the drive gauge is back. Cyber Crusher is back on the table. Oh, what a check on a drive rush. Solid defensive option. Just waiting. Oh, 
Oh, drive rush this time. Okay. Oh, he committed to that. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Nice check there. Knocks him out of the air. Gets the combo. Looks like the follow up though. Oh, so there's a kick. Okay. And just this the space things get dangerous. Then they're, they're not getting close enough for a good combo. Could win it. Oh, or a wake okay. up level three. <laughs> that was good. That was all good. What a reaction. This is gonna burn him out right now. I lied, not quite. <laughs> I think I think that's gonna be the burnout. That's quite it was, it was oh, it was doesn't coming. get to level three out. I was waiting for the sneaky level three on wake up, but it doesn't come out. It's hard to do right now, right? You don't want to lose a meter and then like go into a round with no meter. You want to have this advantage for the next round, just in case. Ooh, Ooh nice punish there. Oh, good for the overhead. And more combos. The mixes. Oh, well, Mommy finds the hit now. Oh, just going for level There's three. Level three. He did burn a lot of drive gauge on that uh, driver cancel, so it's good. On, this is good. He's gonna keep him with a lot of gauge back. Gets a good chunk of the life gone. Keep it close. Oh, nice dagger pressure, but monkey finding the hits, finding the gaps. Oh, he's gonna walk down. Let's punish. Nice. Good stuff from YJK. Oh, squeezes the blueberry. That's gonna be some extra bonus on that. Oh, jumps oh. out the DI, but doesn't go for a punish. And just for that. He gets mixed that up might by the be level rush. two. We get to level two. We need to see the level two to finish this. We close it out. There we go. I'm not saying shit. <laughs> Boom! There we go. Dang. At some point, uh, why is on tournament point? Crazy. Crazy how it swings back and forth like that. Side switch, ready. Neutral jumps. Okay. Dang, so much defense, the mental stack must be overwhelming. The mental stack is burning me out and all I'm doing is watching. Right? Same. <laughs> okay, good sweep option. The blue dragon gets punished, that's gonna be burnout. That's gonna be some damage, that's gonna be a whole lot of bad tidings in the corner. I love this pressure from Kimberly right now from YJK. He's just, just keeping him honest. Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna match Super at any other point? He and there it, it is. He did. Was waiting for it. So much pressure baiting out that level three. And we're gonna see the level three. Here we go. Here we go. I would call that a very disciplined offense. YJK. Just, just yeah, like waiting, sure. like not doing too much, understanding that like if he DIs right now, he's probably buffering, and just like keeping up, really guessing. To the point where he, he had to guess and he guessed wrong. YJK baited that. Nice to close up the round there. Putting YJK on tournament point. Elbow trades. Gets a follow up. Okay, Monkey finding the hit. Yeah, the this is going to be a tense. Trying to fight for the run back victory. Because it's always so much harder to try to win from the loser side because you got to win twice. Right? Showing that you can do it though. Oh, big punish here. Oh, nice bait from Monkey Sr. This is going to kill. Please. Please make me right. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Please make me right. I was just like, why didn't you spend that up meter, bro? But whatever. It's all good. He closed it out. Monkey Finder for his life here. Why'd you case smelling blood? It's gonna hurt. Yep, get planted. Gonna get juggled. Gonna get the can. The can is gonna hurt again. We're doing it again. Overwhelmed is what I'm feeling right now. And we get the jump out, maybe? No. Oh, nice tech there. So close. That's gonna do it. With a perfect KO to cap it off, YJK has run it back for the reset, for the victory, for all the Ego Waffles. Your Guildhouse Mayhem champion, boys and girls, everybody. <laughs> oh, that was intense. I mean, runbacks are always one of my favorite things about this because then you got to see someone not only win once, but then keep the mentality, keep the pressure going, and run all the way back to victory. And YJK pulled it off spectacularly. And that's not easy to do against Mongi. Heck, winning one game or two games against Mongi is hard. To pull the run back like that, especially because both went to game five. Yeah, it was crazy, man. They, the back and forth. They're, they're just, this is what I was saying, right? Like, I play them both separately, but I don't know how they play against each other. And then that's probably a good measurement of how close they are to each other, right? Mongi won the first set, sent him the losers. He makes it back in the grand finals, YJK does. Resets the bracket and brings it to the last game, you know? That was, 
that is what we love to see here at the old house and for those of you who did not come out today keep an eye out keep an eye on start.gg because there are occasionally weekend tournaments here keep an eye out and we also have tournaments every thursday for street fighter so hey if you're thinking about it hey i want me hey what's the tournament like what's what's it like to go to a local tournament come out to guild house we will take care of you we will show you what tournaments are like and believe me it is a lot of fun we got a lot of players out here from all different skill levels so don't worry you're well there's a chance you're gonna run into monkey round one but hey i've done it <laughs> Yeah, definitely. But yeah, if you want to dip your toes into the tournament scene, come out to Guildhouse. We have tournaments on Thursdays. Look us up at start.gg. Come out. Have some fun. Have some drinks. Enjoy the ambiance. Trust me, this is a lot of fun. This is the best place to be on Thursday night. Yeah, definitely, man. I uh, love offline compared to online. You know, it's, it's just a different feeling, man. Sitting next to your opponent, you know, actually meeting them, saying what's up, you know, getting a handshake. And then, like, you you don't really get salty for some reason. Like, you play online, you don't even see their face. You're just like, man, what's going Like, I'm losing to this, right? You know, or you get hit by something. But you just, like, somebody sitting next to you, you're, like, you're just, it's just respect that comes up. You're just like, this guy, this guy trains. He, he came out to play. And, like, this is, like, you learn the best, in, in, I feel like, in an offline setting. Oh, for sure, especially because especially your opponents here. I mean, like, if you ask them, like, hey, was that pressure real or was it fake? They'll tell you. Well, actually, we, we like to make each other better, and that yeah. is what Guildhouse is all about, making each other better through competition. We're, all, we're here to level up, man. We're here to get stronger. We're here to, um, you know, so when, like, people come from out of town, we want to, like, hold it down, right? When we go other places, we want to we show them, like, how strong our region is. This is the goal, right? And well, we got sure. a lot of strong players because of it, and everybody improves together. And we want you to be a part of that. So come through, you know? Yep. I think right. that's about yeah. all I have to say. I Same. mean, we've had one heck of a bracket. So I think at this point, Doki Doki FTR, my boy Waterboy over here, we're going to be signing off. Until next time. Thank you.